Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with Terraria. Wherein slime is falling from the sky, and I'm not really prepared this instant. There we go. Uh, I haven't actually... I'm pretty sure I haven't killed a single boss this, uh, this playthrough so far. So I guess King Slime... It's about time. Let's stop having our health chipped away at before we are ready for that. Um, I need a few potions. We've got regen, iron skin, endurance, cheap food. I could make medium improvements to stats. Considering I have 15 defense, that is probably worthwhile. Uh, let's see. Seafood dinner instead of a couple of recall potions. Which we're finally able to make. Uh, ow, 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 cheat. Demo, could you not throw the slimes into me? Very rude. Uh, I'm pretty sure King Slime is triggered by killing slimes, so... I don't know if lava counts. I don't really want to waste a healing potion and waste my healing cooldown or a regen potion. And again, it's going to take a minute. Uh, let's get a campfire out. That'll help. Uh, that'll apparently help more than expected. But as you can see, I've been uh, getting started and not much else because slime started falling from the sky, uh, building a nicer base here. Um, I obviously don't want the first boss fight for this playthrough to not be on stream. And you know what? Let's chug a regen. How many can I make? 23. That's good. I want to limit my production of potions until uh, until we have the alchemy table, obviously, since I have so few resources right now. Uh, but this is fine for now, I guess. Danger sense isn't really going to help. Flipper, not really. I guess that'll do. All right. Uh, and how about some grenades demo? That would definitely help right now. I thought I just spent all of my gold on grenades. Not quite. Um, probably F or a shortcut for grenades would be good. And a couple of hundred. Okay. Since they're all bunched up so much, let's find our way over here. I don't know if they can actually jump up here, but this is what I had in mind. Is that a... it's carrying a bomb. I hope it doesn't explode. Nope, we're good. Alright, grenades away. Fan not so fantastic. I guess it's not too bad. Oh, sneaky slime. That's why I threw that dirt roof together. There we go. Thought I saw a potion in there, but apparently not. Oh, come on. Alright, so where do I actually want to fight King Slime? Probably over to the right here. Just gotta keep... I mean, it would be good if I had a single movement item, but I'm pretty sure if I just keep running away, I should be able to do it. Um, I've only got 168 Frostburn arrows. Let's see if I can do something about that. Grab some ice. Uh, got a bunch of regular arrows... I think I have to make ice torches. Ice... There we go, frostburn. 498. That should be fine, probably. 
Let's not get trapped by the slimes. Oh god, oh no. That's actually... Half my health gone. I haven't actually looked up the stats, but I'm pretty sure most things are tougher in For the Worthy. It doesn't help that I have nothing in terms of uh, movement accessories. Literally nothing. I guess I could just stand here if I want to be a complete coward. But it wouldn't be a good place to be if King Slime shows up. Mad Dame Salsa? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. For the worthy Factorio. Uh-oh. Let me have a look. Terraria. There we go. Thanks for pointing that one out. Ouch. Ouch. You would jump at the exact wrong time, from my perspective. I don't really want to fight King Slime at night. How much longer do I have to wait for the slimes to stop falling from the sky if I don't want to fight him? I hope the lava kills don't count. I don't think they do. I don't really have the equipment to avoid potentially getting overwhelmed by the slimes. I probably shouldn't fight King Slime in that case. But we could be here all day otherwise. I'm quite liking the Ice Boomerang, actually. Frostburn on a Boomerang hit. Especially at this stage of the game. Ow, jeez. Uh, at the stage of the game where we're not doing much damage. A little Frostburn while we wait for the uh, Boomerang to come back is actually adds up quite a bit. Yeah, I shouldn't have come out here. Um, I don't really want to waste a potion to get home, though. Grenade. Don't jump in my face as I toss them, please. You feel an evil presence watching you while slime is falling from the sky. That's not what I wanted to hear. Let's get back over this way. I do have my boss fight stuff, but I do not feel prepared to fight the Eye of Cthulhu, necessarily. Um, but I guess this will have to do. A evil plug. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I just hope the slimes will stop spawning uh, once the Eye of Cthulhu shows up. And it would be nice if I could be full health before it does as well. Maybe I should have chugged a small heal. I don't have one. I've got my three precious healing potions. Right, so our weapon of choice here is Tungsten Bow with Frostburn Arrows. Uh... I wish I could easily switch the ammo types, because I'd love to switch to Jester Arrows whenever I need to pierce. It caught me totally off guard the moment I was trying to, like, mute myself because I needed to cough. Literally the second... The second that I my hands were not available, the eye showed up. And slime was still falling from the sky. I should have just gone underground. <sighs> Zero movement abilities, because there's like no chests on this map apparently. Either that or I'm just incredibly unlucky. I say as I pick up the slime stuff, and oh god, that is the king slime. I know. Bad. Not holy. Well, 
I was gonna say on the plus side I have the slime stuff, but I already got the, uh... Uh, what do you call it? I I've already got the flink stuff, so I don't think the slime stuff is gonna compare. It's actually the same damage? Well, we can give it a try. I've never tried comparing these two. Let's try getting our gold back. Oh my god. Half my health gone from that. Why is this door open? I seriously don't understand how this door is open. Okay. Uh, oh, alright. Just fly straight through my sword. I'm just gonna wait. I don't like the early game. I, I don't think anyone likes the early game in Terraria, to be honest. The movement is terrible. Rip my potions as well. Ah. <sighs> I don't know if it's part of For the Worthy or, or if we've just been incredibly unlucky, but having no... not even a double jump, like, the only movement accessory I have, it's not actually an accessory, is the grappling hook. It's all very sluggish. Is a ghost going to show up, or what? Apparently not. Now it's going to show up. Oh, and another one. They waited to flank me. Let's not get caught by zombies, either. It takes like 2% of its hit points in damage. Okay, let's stack things away. Apparently I didn't have a golden tombstone yet. Oh yeah, well, I was going to try the slime stuff. See if it's any better than the flinks. Seems as good a place as any to try it. Nothing spawning. Let's go downstairs. Why is the merchant down here? Probably because he couldn't stay in his little box. Come to think of it, I probably haven't built them a house uh, since I was messing around with our housing. So what am I looking for? Double jump would be the most important, I think. There you go, slime. That seems terrible. I think the flinx is way better than this. It says it does the same damage, but it hits way more often. It has actual knockback. I haven't actually explored this way yet. That's a bomb. Definitely take the... That's not Blink Root, actually. Okay. Oh, another heart. I shouldn't have... Uh... I, I completely forgot that 200 hit points would summon the Eye of Cthulhu when I was playing earlier today just to build houses and stuff. I definitely shouldn't have... Uh... Pushed my health up to 200 just yet. Because I just have nothing in terms of movement abilities. And 
tungsten. Tungsten arm is not too bad though. But by itself it's not not good enough. Especially when every single monster does extra damage, it seems like. Seems like there's a lot more gold available. Should probably make some gold armor. Oh wow. Yeah, let's make some gold armor, even if it is uh, just a small boost. It's the strongest we'll be able to get before Reign of Cthulhu. Which I would much rather not fight compared to Eater of Worlds. Although, considering how large King Slime was, um, the idea of Giant Eater of Worlds kind of terrifies me as well. Ow. How did you get through that? Don't see any traps. Hey, we finally have the uh, underground, uh, the glowing mushroom biome. I think there might, might have been something over here I wanted to look at. Just pots, I guess. It's fine. I do believe that is... that's copper, actually. Could you stop digging up the torches? Thank you. go to my favorite biome. Greeted by a worm. Apparently I, uh, yeah, I guess I haven't done the torch god thing yet. That is not a bomb. Could this worm hurry up and charge and get it over with? Apparently not. Grab some more tungsten. Can't even really see this slime. Alright, should probably make a rope down here since I have no movement. Give me some cobwebs. Where did they go? Oh, I see. I have to get rid of this first. Uh, that was kind of dumb. There we go. Should be able to jump back to that. All right, let's carefully avoid any traps. Should have brought some glow sticks. Oh, my inventory though. Didn't mean to fall. Penguin statue. Get out of here, pressure plate. Oh, oh, I don't like the sound of that. Nor do I like the sound of spore bats. I do like the sound of more health. Oh, wait, is that a... No, I thought there was a bomb. It was actually my torch. It's fine. This place is relatively a lot safer. Giant Shelly, I'm not too fond of. Let's make a door here. Why not? Glowing mushrooms. Doors. Okay. 
Okay. Uh oh. Grenade. Fantastic. Yoink. And... Oh my god. At least it only does 44 damage. That is not a bomb. It is a mushroom torch. Uh, I don't think I need any glowing mushroom seeds right now. I do need that extra health though. You know what, I might come back with more inventory space. And just to be lazy now that we're actually getting some teleport potions. Traveling merchant has arrived. What do you got for us? DPS me? Oh god, I can't afford that. I need five gold. Well, three more gold, basically. Never mind. I guess I'll take his hat. Alright, let me get some of this storage organized. Need to make some more NPC houses as well. Well, first let me quick stack what I've already got. Apparently I've already done that. Statues can go here for now. Uh, life crystals go burr. Blue slime banner. Can I really not reach down there? Still have the demo to sell things to, at least. I guess I could sell the slime stuff. It's so rare that I don't really want to, though. Sell the mushroom torches, regular rope. Uh, chains go in here. And the iron. Bait I usually keep up here. Glowing mushrooms go in potion ingredients. We should be able to make some shine potions now. Nice. Uh, day bloom seeds we'll just plant. Ooh. Give me that water leaf. Only one seed though. Give me those worms. Fantastic. Uh, I should bump up my mana as well. What are we up to? 140? Is that a random iron skin potion? I'll take it. Stone slab goes back in here. Let's put all of the building blocks. Can't actually reach through there. Uh, in here together, like this. Not sure where I want to keep these. Slime stuff can go in here, I guess. Spelunker potion. I can't think of anything yet that is difficult to find that I want to use a Spelunker potion for. And that can go in there. Alright, inventory sorted. Let's go back downstairs. 
Wait, let's see how much gold we have. We've got 157 gold ore. Oops. That accelerated quickly. Um... The chainmail has the same defense as tungsten? Without looking at the set bonus, uh, as far as I know, I would only gain one defense. It's probably like two defense in total. Bruh. I don't think that's worth the trouble. Well, regardless... Uh, it seems like we're going to be finding a ton of gold on this sea. Is that another hat? Wait, what? Another traveling merchant arrived and he died before I even noticed? Oof. Owie. I'm not so sure about these lava traps. Alright, back down we go for the plus health. And more importantly, I really want some accessories. Well, not more importantly. I would say equally importantly. Let's dig through here. And I, I dare say we're at the point now where we can afford basic potions without any trouble. It's very difficult to see if there's any traps here. I think we're good. It's just more tungsten. I don't really even need any more tungsten, I don't think. Except for maybe bullets. Down we go. Uh-oh. There we go. This is a black slime. That way I can at least see it. Alright, let's be very careful looking for traps. And piranhas. Ah! Ha 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 I didn't even see the bomb drop behind me. Okay. That's a lot of piranhas. Oh my god. Oh my. Jesus. Why do they spawn so fast? I think it's actually going to be extremely difficult getting that life crystal at this stage. Should probably just keep going down and see what we get. I could keep looking in the ice biome for chests. That's the only place we've actually found a chest so far. Oh, what? right, I forgot how terrifying the ice biome is. Uh, why don't we try traveling above it? What time is it? Is it early or late? I think it's getting late. How about we make a stopwatch? Um, I think I need a giant table for this. There it is. Alright, so the time is 5.22pm, probably just about the worst possible time to try and start travelling on the overworld. I think we should go keep going down instead. We got two bone skeleton statues already. Three hundred max health, that's something. And back down we go. 
I think I'll expand the elevator here while we're at it. Although, I eventually want it to be in the exact middle of the map. Oh, whatever, it's fine. I don't have to dig this too far. I don't think uh, buff potions would have made much of a difference against that particular group of... Not, the, not so much the group of piranhas, but the rate at which they were spawning. I just couldn't move forward. Alright, potion time, because I want a shine potion. Let's go. That's a giant shelly. Get out of here. Hey, we found something. Finally. I think this is the first house I've seen in just the normal... Bo Whoa, I didn't mean to rush in like that. Alright, it's not a dead man's chest, is it? We get a mace. It is slightly more damage than my sword. But I think if I just swing spam it like this, uh, the sword probably does more deeps. And again, this probably has better coverage. We got heart statue, not that I'm gonna use it. Rip house. I could make this the house for the demo man and uh, what is it called? The bartender? To be nice and lazy. Hey, another gold chest. Wow. We've tripled the number of chests we've found. First we need... Oh, that's a goldfish. And that is not a bomb. Fantastic. Alright. Something's going to explode. Make it explode away from me, please. And... Th three chests down here? Okay. I know RNG is spiky, but damn. I know where I'm dropping down. Let's dig up here. Down here. Probably kill this bat. Oh, what's this? Red potion. Only for those who are worthy. I've heard about this one. Definitely would have been good to find that before a boss fight. Uh, I believe it gives us a lot of buffs. Don't know to what extent it stacks with other potions. Flare gun. I think we're a little bit past the point where I'm terribly excited by that. And finally we have a double jump. Ah, uh, it's not much, but it's so much. We actually have the beginnings of a movement set. That's more like it. Okay, um... Titan Potion? Doesn't that require bones to make? I was just thinking about why don't I usually make these things. Because a, a lot of... an infinite supply of Titan Potions at this stage would actually be very handy. Um... I might drop the planked wall uh, and the rope. Okay. Let's get some silk rope down here. If I can just, there we go. Oh, 
Well, that's one way we can get that water chest. Don't know how much easier it's going to be to get the, uh... To get the heart, though. Can I put this in here? I cannot. Um, shark bait. Fantastic. Let's at least clear out any random bombs. Uh, what the? Oh, it's a bat. Otherwise known as flying piranha. I didn't realize I can deliberately sink to the bottom with these uh, rubber tubes. It's actually very handy at this stage. Oh my. Okay, so for some reason my sword can only f hit one piranha at a time. Okay. This is actually super handy right now. Or it will be. That's a compass. I need a co Could you stop? Oh my... Let, let me up. Why can't I get up? Why... There we go. Freaking invisible enemies. Okay. It's easy enough if I'm just focusing on them, but... I'm trying to sort out my inventory, plan how I'm going to get this compass... I think step one is to empty my inventory and come back, to be honest. Alright. Up we go. Uh, we've got ten recalls. I think it's a... It, I think we're hitting the point where we can start using recalls at a reasonable pace. Should I use the mace? I don't remember how good the knockback is if we're swinging it around. But it might actually be better than the sword for keeping slimes off and things like that. Give it a try again. Gold broadsword is a material? Uh, what? If I get five stink bugs, I can turn it into fly meal. Best used for pranking townsfolk. It doesn't gain any stats. Okay, I think I've seen like two stink bugs so far. I'll just put this away. And we've actually got a water walking potion, that's good. Danger sense, I should probably use. Uh, I'm sure we're going to be finding a lot of red potions. We can I don't suppose we can make red potions, can we? I'd I would kind of hate for them to be a finite resource. But I'm guessing we mostly get them out of... Uh, out of pots or something? That's a flask of fire. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Okay. What time is it? 2.45 a.m. I definitely want to head out over the overworld shortly. Let's grab some stars. There's another one. One enemy nearby. The flinks knockback with the boomerang is actually a great combination. I think I can probably handle traversing the overworld now. Not through the jungle. And probably maybe not through the corruption, I don't know. Uh, at night is what I was meaning to say. Alright, quick stack. Now we have some gold chests at last. We can 
can start organizing our inventory properly without paying iron. So I probably... I think I'll probably want this area to be the potion area. So we'll put the uh, alchemy table here when we get it. Let's grab the cooking pot. Rip L. Well, not rip, it's leaving. Sink. Uh, I don't really have room right now, though, so I guess I'll just put everything here. Let's hurry up and clean up our inventory so we can go traveling. How long does this last? I have no idea. Selling will be blocked. Oh, it's favorite. I right, uh, don't need the flare gun. All right, let's go for a walk. As I try to kill a slime hands-free and fail. What is that sound? What? I see gold appearing on the map up here repeatedly. What? What is happening? If I had the snake charmer's flute, I'd try going up it there and having a look. I guess I could use web rope, but I don't really want to. Oh, I remember this spot. Definitely take extra day bloom at this stage. Probably going to pick it up by accident anyway. And we float. I, I don't think I've ever actually collected the inner tube so early that it was actually appreciated. It's nice. That may be our first Shiverthorn. Oh. Yeah, I can't get across this with a inner tube. Let's make a bridge. Or I could use the water walking potion that I didn't bring. Are the enemies just as immune to lava on this seed as... Don't dig up? Let's find out. Nope, not even close. Alright, much better.
Oh, I think I was muted. Whoops. My bad. Up we go. What's in this chest? Climbing claws. Improved ability if combined with shoe spikes. Yeah, it actually does work like the ninja gear if we have both of them. Cool, so I can stick to walls right now. That's actually kind of handy for where we're up to. It's weird how how many chests we're finding after finding so few. Literally one chest the entire... Not the entire stream last time, because we started by finishing off Moon Lord on that other save. But... I guess I just got really unlucky finding chests so far. Didn't mean to almost murder Dragonfly. Uh, I guess you could say this for the Crimson. It's probably easier to traverse it in the early game. Compared to the Corruption. Not as many flying enemies. A lot easier with the snowflakes as well. Should probably pick that up. But I'm not here to farm... I'm not here to farm items. I'm here to get through safely and explore and hopefully reach the ocean. These things are very easy to hit with the boomerang to say the least. That thing's kind of scary. Um, if I bunch them all up, I could double jump over them. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's not what I want. They are spawning a little too quickly. Can I get over this? Nope. Nope. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. Okay. I wish I could fake them out with a jump somehow. El Saris, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's mostly the pits that make it hard to traverse. That too, yeah. Okay, okay, I messed that up. Okay. Up we go, up we go. We actually made it, it looks like. Thank goodness for that little hill. So I could jump over them. Alright, I think I'll chill here for a sec. Very safe from grounded enemies in the water. They're not chasing as well as I expected them to, though. Yeah, the, the combination, I would say, of the pits and, like, every single enemy is a flying enemy for early game corruption makes it extremely difficult to... Oh, no. Oh, uh, that was just a little tiny gap in the, uh... Could, could you stop acting so weird? Frickin' man-eater. Have some grenades. Or not. It disappeared! Well, I'll take it. Look at this flinks go. What an MVP. Nice shooting, not. I'm not used to arrows moving this slow. Or having that much drop, more to the point. Especially since the boomerang doesn't drop at all, weirdly enough. I th I think I see also the flinks kind of like resets the trajectory whenever it lands a hit. Okay, that was fairly effective, but ouch, also. 
Did I ever explain the bad knockback mechanic? Uh, no. Bad knockback. So certain hits don't cause as much knockback as you'd otherwise expect. Ah. Oh. I am a terrible shot with the bow at this stage of the game. Or I am today, anyway. Are we actually through the crimson this time? I may as well take this water leaf. I've got a, I've got like three water leaf seeds growing back at home, but definitely doesn't hurt to add a few more. Take some cactus while we're here as well, so we don't have to farm it later. So how does bad knockback work? There's two separate forms of knockback on enemies, and what which one you get depends on certain threshold of damage, a fraction of their max hit points. Okay, so you could have a weapon that says massive knockback, uh, but if you only scratch them, it doesn't give a good amount of knockback. I'm guessing. We got a pink dungeon. Very pink, purple-ish. Oh, and my inventory's full already. Okay, I don't suppose we're getting a water bolt without beating the boss. I do have a handy chest to drop off stuff that I don't really care to carry home. This can stay here for now. Actually, it's the opposite. If you deal 1 15th or more of the enemy's max hit point in damage, you get bad knockback. That's... That's very odd. I can come back for that stuff when it's easy to travel. Alright, as long as we don't go deep enough for something to spawn, uh, we can go into the dungeon. If we do go deep enough for something to spawn, we're dead. I'll just check these books here and get out. I'm sure I could have gone like two or three times as deep as that, but... I'd rather not tempt it. Boomerang is one of the few weapons where you can quickly switch to something else without getting stuck in a attack animation in this game. Let me in. What do we have in here? The usual. Not really interested in the loom. Not really interested in a gnome right now. These bombs really love messing up the world. Uh... Places, living wood. There we go. Much better. May as well go this way. Actually, I haven't explored down here. But there's probably no more rooms. This way. Just goes down into the ground. Yep. Do I have any... Nope. Didn't have any glow sticks, but we can pretty much see there's nothing of immediate interest. The difference between good knock and bad knockback is good knockback completely resets the enemy's velocity. Bad knockback is relative to their current velocity. 
Interesting. So good knockback breaks the laws of physics. Basically. chest. That's our second of two boomerangs. We can make a trimerang if we get, uh, I think it, I, I think we need the, uh, the lava boomerang, right? Either way, we're a little ways off. Let's get this clay. Make even bigger farms. I guess I may as well stay underground while it's night time. Really glad I found a bone pickaxe at least this playthrough. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. And popping those po uh, pots could have dropped a bomb, actually. That could have been bad. Alright. We explore don't care about the tiny amounts of money that those monsters are going to take with them. That looks safe. That's a chest. That is a spear. Not that exciting. Definitely take some swiftness potions. Um, what am I dropping? Pink brick platform? Sure. We got a Wand of Sparking. 14 damage. Might be a bit easier to hit with this thing. But it's already significantly weaker. I believe we can upgrade it with Ice Torches, though. Uh, what do I want to drop? Probably the crappy healing potions. Or how about we let the rabbit go? That seems fine to me. And it jumps immediately into some water. Should say it's more... More reliably gets good knockback mechanics. Depends on the enemy being hit. Since the flinks does so little damage, it gets good knockback. <laughs> That's funny. And that's, of course, why the topic came up. Because the flinks keeps completely resetting uh, the path of enemies. And the way it bounces around, it tends to combo enemies. Oh, we have a gnome. Pity it's not daytime. I didn't even get any money out of it. Bruh. It's actually a good combo, the uh, boomerang and mace, because I can prepare a swing from the mace immediately and let it go whenever. Uh, what should I drop? I haven't seen any explosive bunnies today. Pardon me. Um, that 
is an unusual cave. Let's just leave some crap in here. We already have a boomerang. It's actually a really good combo. I don't really care about the living wood stuff. Don't really care about this. I do want the clay. Don't care about dirt. Give me that lens. I think that's literally our first couple of lenses. Couldn't get any last time. Our potion goes here. Yeah, I think we're pretty safe to travel in default biome at night now. Probably. We are just getting all of the chests now. There's a star up there, isn't there? I want it. Oh god. Okay, it's only 15 damage. It's fine. Let me up. Let me up. There we go. That's a few stars, actually. Planning to make a mod that, among other things, removes bad knockback. Should say it more reliably gets good knockback mechanics. Yeah, it's kind of weird, to say the least. Right, up, and up. I thought that was an enemy. Let's get rid of the pet. It's very distracting sometimes. You know, if we could get it early enough, triple boomerang would actually really be amazing. I was rather disappointed in it last time. But I thought it would do something, like, really different and unique. I didn't expect just boomerang times three. I think that's the ocean. That is the ocean. Fantastic. Very hard to shoot the eyes when they keep changing trajectory like that. Is it too early to find the angler, or is it never too early to find the angler? And somehow I don't have any glow sticks. I guess I threw them away. Amethyst hook is so bad? Yeah, it is. Remember back when double jumping didn't reset f fall damage height? I don't remember that far back, actually. I do remember, though, um, and this might still be current, I remember falling a very long way down an elevator sh a, a elevator shaft um, with no protection from fall damage, and I was just like, okay, it's fine, I'll be careful. Um, I fell onto a bat, 
which, you know, did a tiny bit of damage, like nothing to worry about at that stage. But more importantly, uh, the bat bumped me in such a way that I slammed into the ground. Well, I say slammed into the ground, that's the way the game treated it in terms of fall damage. But actually what happened is I very gently touched the ground after bouncing off the bat. But it treated it as if I fell the exact same distance regardless. Let's just put all this here for the moment. I'll decide what I want to take back. Should probably start fishing here. Definitely grab as much coral as we can on the first trip. What do we got? Breathing rod. I was just thinking it'd be good to have that. There was a time when double jumping didn't save you from fall damage. That's rough. I played Terraria from pretty early on, but not that early, I guess. Up we go. Down we go. Freaking crabs. Oh god, what's that? What's that? No, I didn't see it. Holy launch pad. And there's the angler. Can I do that consistently? Also, did I just get the angler killed or what? I think it was like back when Cloud in a Bottle was just added. Yeah, sounds about right. I can imagine the surprise of people thinking it would save them from double jump. It seems a reasonable assumption to me. Alright, we're obviously not about to get... Uh, fish run from the caverns right now, but I need to go home and make some NPC homes. I should go talk to the uh, traveling merchant as well, but I want to try and make the most of getting stuff from the ocean first. Give me all of this. It's only the coral that's actually useful, but more coral can appear later on if we get rid of the rest of it. Kind of like the opposite of how it works. IRL, definitely don't mess with this crap. That's a shark. I don't want to play with the shark. I mean, I would love to play with its shark fin... Good flinks. Shark is a lot less terrifying when we have the inner tube. as good a time as any. Back we go. I should have got more stuff out of that chest. Oh well. Uh, we do need the stopwatch at some point and the life form analyzer. Cool. And we almost for the first time ever saw a gi while it was still relevant. 10% increased melee and movement speed. Uh, if it didn't sacrifice for defense, that would actually sound good. I also kind of want the bricklayer, but I can't afford it. I mean, I guess I can afford it. Sure.
worked on release, they decided to make it not reset fall damage, then immediately changed it back again. It's weird. Alright, I guess it's time to spend a little time making houses. Grumble, grumble. So I want to have... This is the spawn right here. I want to have the forest pylon in the middle of that. Let's put this stuff away. And I'm thinking... Well, actually, this was correct so far. Hmm. On second thought... I think it's like five tiles wide, the, uh... player sensor that we get after we kill the twins. I wish we got it a lot earlier. So I think we'll put our trapdoor there. I'll make it a bit wider than I usually do. Um, I need some... I need some lead. Make a temporary trapdoor. Wish you could make things, uh, these things wider as well. Just build it out like this. Put that on the left. And this will go here. Um, I need some glass, iron, and torches. To make lamppost. Get rid of that. Probably about here. And let's measure on this side as well. Fun fact, the angel statue was originally made to serve the function of cloud in a bottle angel statue. It's kind of weird. I think I still... oh! Rip rope. I think I still have some stone slabs lying around. Uh, anyway, this is... Uh, I think one, two, three... This many tiles. see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. I wish it wasn't such a tiny button or if there was a shortcut key for that, that'd be good. I still don't have an extractinator. There we go. Stone slabs. Stone. Gray brick. Background walls. I think I want the first layer to be wood walls. I'll make some NPC homes up here. At least the uh, merchant and the guide. And down here it's all stone slab. Maybe I'll put something behind there that's different. It took hours to sprite, so it was left in as a useless decoration, even after the addition of Cloud in a Bottle. I can understand that. I don't really have any artistic talent myself, but uh, I think people, well, I know people greatly underestimate how much work goes into making things like that. Why is there a random lead bar in here? Oh yeah, I have uh, stone. Let's make some grey brick. 
Let's grab our hammer. Not like that. Three brick. Where do, where's my hammer? There it is. I wish favorited items would just stay in the slot, kind of like the filtered slots in Factorio. I need to get rid of this lava. It's going to be a pain to work around. Uh, I believe it all drains into one slot, but in case it's done some weird fluid multiplication thing, we'll just get out of the way first. Why don't I just put two slots here? two blocks. Maybe there's still time... Oh! There we go. I believe I've got one bucket lying around somewhere. I mean, I must, otherwise how did I get the lava there? And we'll go for... Gray brick on the top. I think it was a waste. I made a tungsten hammer thinking it would dig out these walls faster, but it seems no quicker than a wooden one. Alright, how tall is this? Ten tiles. And up here we've only got six. But I think for an NPC house it's probably fine. And maybe... Like this. Keep losing track of my hammer. Um, I guess I could use a gate for the NPC homes. Is this, is this really all the lead I've got left? No, we've got like 90. I think I've got more lead in here for potions as well. 90 ore. Which I forgot to pick up. Smart. All right, give me some lead bars, and I need a heavy workbench. Uh, what are we making? Gates, tall gate. All right, so this goes here. That actually fits pretty well. Give me some more stone brick or gray brick. Hmm. That might be okay. I feel an evil presence. Okay. Um. What have I got potion wise? Red potion, regen, armor, light, movement. I should be fine, theoretically. I don't feel prepared for this. Uh, but actually, we've got all this flat area over here. It should be okay. I just need to get out of it before the eye shows up. This will be our arena over here, pretty much. I wonder if this means there's a sky island up here, actually. How could there be a gold, though? I think that must have been a glitch somehow. Alright, we've got 
455 frost arrows, some jester's arrows, double jump, no dash, obviously, it's the first Eye of Cthulhu. Uh, I'm not going to go and make medium food again, I don't really have time. Oh, it's on. No more time to think about ah, why why up through my feet? How rude. Oh yeah, hit that hit that eye. Nice. It's gonna be a lot easier when we have the dash. Okay, that's just that's just rude. Gotta try and make it miss me with a dash. Nope. I think I should switch to the Jester's Arrows so I can kill the small eyes easier. It seems to be a lot more quick and uh, aggressive than the normal Eye of Cthulhu. I can't really see a good opportunity to get around it. Yeah, I'm having a hell of a time keeping away from it. I think if I was doing hardcore for this uh, next time, I would not fight the eye until I had the running boots. Might just have to do that next time. Did that just bounce off of it? Oh no. I don't like where this is going. A balloon would be nice, too. Okay, I can't outrun it. We haven't even gotten to the final part. Yes? Ole? Nope, couldn't get the timing. Oh, I couldn't get in position to make that timing work. Yeah, this is... I don't know if I can, uh, if I can kite it enough. Okay, if I fling it, if I get it to fling up above me that much, it's not as bad. More little eyes? I forgot, I forgot, I thought we were done with the little eyes. It's doing another transformation? I don't like where this is going. Okay, 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 okay. Let me out. I need more speed. Nope. 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 It's only hitting me for 30, though. Except it's gonna hit me a few more times. Let me away. Let me, let me away. Yes, that. Exactly. Okay, I need more movement before I can do that. Uh, but we learned everything we needed to. One of my first eye kills, I had a cloud and a bottle and no armor, indeed. But not for the worthy, right? <laughs> yeah, a swiftness, a swiftness potion and one double jump isn't going to cut it. I think if I had... Uh, super fast running boots. It's probably doable. This was even before expert mode was a thing. Fair enough. Uh, let's not die. There we go. Add our tombstone to the collection. All right, give me some... Give me back our building blocks. All the Worthy now adds an attack during the mouth phase, where it spins around shooting out little eyes. That's not too bad. 
Why didn't I get flung up through the... What? That's weird. Normally I would expect to get flung up through the door when I open it like that. Okay. Uh, I definitely want to save up Jester Arrows for that fight as well. So we can kill all of the little eyes in a line. I think it's 10 arrows for one star, so it's not too bad. Whoops. Oh yeah, I got rid of that lava, didn't I? And see you later, guide. Okay. Can I make the NPC homes fit nicely with these other storage areas? Maybe I should use different doors or something, because it's not gonna it's not gonna really look like someone's home, I think. Wait, why am I replacing the wood walls? You dub. Okay. That's fine. Demo's still here. Some more wood wall. Do I want to give them chandeliers? Maybe? Should we go for a different kind of chandelier? Where's the guide? He's chilling down here, slacking off. Uh, torch. That's a lot of options. If I had a chain on me, I would have showed him that instead. Steampunk chandelier? I can't get that yet. It looks good, though. Sandstone chandelier. I need smooth sandstone for that. Uh, palm wood? Kind of like that one. It's very ob obtainable as well. Let's try that. Another traveling merchant? Do they just arrive every day now? Oh my, let me up. Excuse me. Uh, katana? It's a little, it's a little pricey. Getting a katana when it's actually relevant, though, would probably be nice. What can I sell? Nah, I think we'll just... No, I really would like the katana. So I need just under one gold to scrounge up. I could sell grenades. I don't really want to do that. I've got a bunch of owls here. I don't think that... Uh, they're like 10 silver each, actually, aren't they? Yeah, okay. Two gold worth of owls. Gimme. This does not swing as fast as I was hoping. At least it changes direction responsively. Alright. 
Uh, let's place down some more clay pots as well. What if I just place them between all these trees? I hope when I cut and replace the trees we can just plant them in the same place without issue. Alright, blink root, one, two, and three. I need some palm wood, it's over here. We got a little sandstorm. Don't drop bombs, thank you. How much palm wood do I need? Let's get like 40. Apparently I can't replace this where it dropped, uh, where I killed it. We got angry, t angry tumblers coming in from both directions. Let's try the katana. Not as good as I hoped, honestly. How much health do these things have? 200? Our boomerang's looking a lot better at this point. Alright, put that down. Don't drop a bomb on me, thank you. And that'll be our palm wood. This is kind of like a worse Muramasa. Not sure why these things are unable to shoot at me, but I'll take it. Okay, it's actually a pretty good balance of speed and knockback. In a remix world, the katana and key brand swap places. Oh, like the uh, bubble gum? Bubble gum. Bubble gun. Bubble gum. Well. We already talked to this guy, right? Yeah, we did. Magic hat. 6% increased magic. Wow. All right, let's finish our NPC homes already. Uh, that's right, I was going out there because I wanted palm wood so I could make chandeliers. There we go. For the nice, cozy NPC homes. Uh, now let's get some regular wood background. At least until I think of something better. And I guess this side should be wood. Atlas, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Uh, is this a valid house? It is already occupied, so yes. 
kind of want to shove the uh, demolitionist down here out of the way. Let's get some more NPC houses going. Um, I should probably have a peek and see if there's any... Yeah, here we go. Water leaf that we need to harvest. What? Oh no, I killed something. Needlessly. Always harvest blink root whenever we get the chance. Probably already got infinite day bloom. Oh, wait, I need to plant this. That's not the seed. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, yeah, the katana is better than I thought. 21% crit. It's kind of a lot. Um, I don't love the way these stone blocks line up perfectly and these ones are like off-center. But I guess I'm not going to change the whole base layout at this point. How many tiles is this? Eight between the door and the workbench. Looks good. And we need wood walls. Quite a few of them, no doubt. Where are my stone slabs? I think I quick stacked them. I should really favorite them until I'm done with them. This is going to go here. That doesn't look right. That's better. And then stone slabs. Starting to come together. Let's put our chandelier here. is missing a wall. Oh yeah. Don't give me a bomb. There we go. Let me just temporarily fill this out. I want the guide in here. Missing a wall. Hush. There we go. And it should preserve it even after I reshape the room. Alright, so how many tiles is this? 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, plus 7, 17. 17. Okay, cool, perfect. So this right here 
is where it stops. I think. Get the hammer. Need more gates. Uh, gate is iron plus wood. Heavy workbench. here. This housing is suitable. Doing good bro yourself? I like the run. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Thanks for asking. Alright, so I need to get the demo out of here. I don't suppose that's going to work. It's not like he'll just accept that this is no longer his room. Missing a chair. I need to put him in another room. Actually, I don't really talk to the merchant that much after the start of the game. What if I put the angler in here instead? I need the angler to show up before I can easily move him around, though. Um, it's over here, isn't it? Okay. Let's get some walls in here. Get some filling out of the room. Table and chair. Can we put the demo here now? We can. And I'll make this the uh, barkeep's room. If he shows up anytime soon. Table and chair. Is this suitable yet? This housing is actually suitable, believe it or not. Okay, so if I put the merchant here, then we can hopefully get the angler to show up over there. So I can very easily access him for fishing quests. We're still... oh, 26 recall potions? I was going to say we're still just poor enough on recall potions that I don't want to use one. But that's not quite correct. Oh, the angler is here. Nice. Uh, what do you got for me? Jungle surface? We're not doing that. Not yet. Oh, I will need the merchant here temporarily to get the pylon. Whoops. Not that I could afford a pylon right now. Let's not worry about it. So what I really want is fast running boots and ideally a balloon as well before I try taking on the Eye of Cthulhu. Fast running boots we're just going to have to explore a lot. Balloon we know where to find it but I have to find a grav potion or something. 
Uh, why was I looking for iron? I don't really remember. Oh, bucket. Here we go. Do we have a bucket somewhere? Apparently we don't. How did I get the lava here then, in that case? It will forever be a mystery. Let me just drop it in here. Hey, Dilka. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Cool. And let's finish this build. Finally managed to buy Terraria on sale. Nice. Hope you enjoy. Oh, rip goldfish. I don't have access to that book that makes us not kill critters yet. Alright, so this is gonna go down here. And then... Fleeting Shackle, it's about time. Plus 2% movement speed even, how luxurious. Let's get some grey bricks. Gate goes here. Some of these. And I need a bunch of slab walls. Time is it? 11.45. I'll give it a few minutes before I go looking for more stars. Give me some more walls. all of it. Uh, I want another glass chandelier. That's uh, starting to feel much better. This starting to look organized. Alright, where's the glass kiln gone? Here it is. Glass chandelier, right about here. I would also like a couple of... Where are they? Glass lamps, like tiki torches, only nicer looking. I'll also probably use some uh, diamond some white torches when I can spam them, but for now, torch plus glass plus glass kiln, okay. Let me put that there. Looks nice enough, I think. Oh, I didn't realize that uh, that weapon pierces. I could have used that against the eyes. All right, let's get some stone slabs down here. I guess I'll leave that makeshift elevator for the moment. And let's start moving all of the metal stuff over this way. Ow. 
I guess I'll do the glass kiln there as well. Alright, so furnace in the center perhaps? Anvil and workbench. I kind of want a glass workbench. Glass table, glass bowl, glass workbench. Sort of want to put those more in the middle, actually. Even if it won't be perfectly kind of symmetrical. And anvil over here. Kiln can go here. Heavy workbench, I guess, will go here, probably. Maybe I should have made this a bit bigger than last time. No, I think I'll, later on I'll put the workbench in a separate storage area. And just for the look of it, let's try glass platforms. And glass chests, maybe? Since we're short on chests anyway. Oh, it's 4.30 a.m. I missed it. Rip all those stars. I think I need some lead. What's your fishing quest? Surface tundra. Uh, there's no such thing. Unless this isn't deep enough to not be surface. Or I could maybe stand here and fish and it'll count as surface tundra. If we're lucky. Regardless, let's make some chests. Glass chest. Those are further apart than they're supposed to be. I guess I don't hate the look of it. I might change it up later, though. Alright, so we'll put hard mode... I mean, pre-hard mode metals here. Let's grab some. Uh, probably help if I freed up my inventory a little bit. Gold goes here. Chain can go under the iron. Um, let's get all the gems. Glass and sand. Might put things like this in here. I've actually got six diamonds. I should really start a farm. Sand and glass somewhere. Blink root goes in here. Well, I haven't actually organized this yet. Get to that. I think I've had enough time building houses for now. Let's go acquire things. Starting with this fishing quest.
Okay. Beyond slime. That was nice and quick. Oops. Wasn't looking for a grapefruit, but I'll take it. Should be able to just jump this. our hopeful fishing spot. Okay, yeah, it looks like we're not having too much trouble changing the biome by standing over this side. I hope. That is a bass. That tells us nothing about which biome we're in. Atlantic card. Fantastic. We should be able to get the quest fish here. And there it is. Didn't take long. Crate potion, journeyman bait. Journeyman's not even as good as the worms, but whatever, we'll take it. Um... Do I have a nearly empty chest somewhere? Not really. Can I, can I get that, please? Apparently not, because my inventory's full. Alright, I'll probably start putting the fish in on this side. Uh, silt and slush, I guess, can go in here. Since we get a bunch of gems and metal out of it, usually. Well, not usually, we always get that. I could go crate potion fishing, I guess. That's actually a pretty good idea. We don't have much in the way of accessories. Alright, down the hatch. Yellow slime doesn't give me pause these days. We got one crate so far. Ooh, it's a pinky. Kind of hard to hit. At least it's not as hard to see once it's frost burning. That's a bomb. No, it's not. Alright. I wanted to move over here where the slimes can't really bother us. If I can ever get up there. Oh my god, the, this grappling hook really sucks. Alright, there we go. Yeah, just create a pile of money and random loot down here while I fish. That's a good way to go about it. Still got two minutes on the crate potion. Probably like just over a minute actually. Hey, 
armored cavefish. Always a welcome sight. Still says two minutes on the crate potion that lasts three minutes. Yep, there it goes from two minutes to fifty nine seconds. At this rate, we're only getting two crates, maybe three. that bounce off. Very small piece of dirt. Just a few seconds left. Nothing. Well, we did indeed only get a couple of crates out of that. Right at the beginning. Uh, but that's a jellyfish necklace down there. Let's go grab it. Let's see what our crates have to offer. A couple of night owl potions. Not very excited, to be honest. That was actually terrible. Wow. Oh no, we got an extractinator. I take it back. Now we can get all of that slush turned into something useful. Um, I think I want potion ingredients in here later on. Fish go in here. Um, and I should have enough inventory space now to pick up whatever this is. I think we may have got an extra breathing rod. We did get two armored cave fish, but when I gulp a, a great potion, that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Generates a very subtle glow, which becomes more vibrant underwater. So it's actually a very cheap magiluminescence as well. Okay, they really are not kidding when they say a subtle glow. Uh, and it does indeed become a lot stronger underwater. Let me go somewhere particularly dark. Where have we got? Let's go down this way. Oops, wasn't paying attention. Well, we can see something, and that's better than nothing. But that's about all I could say for the glow that we get out of this, unless we're underwater. Okay, give me that mud. And what should we do now? I don't I think I emptied that water chest. It's probably another big cavern down here. Well, first I should clean up my inventory regardless. Let's make a chest for Oh, I know. I'll go get that water chest. That can be the chest for organizing fishing stuff. Down we go. Forgot about 
this gold chest as well. And some gold also. Oh, my inventory's full already? Really? Um, get out of here, minecart track. Okay, the katana's actually pretty good. The knockback and crit really push it over the edge into usefulness. Let's get rid of this regular rope. Oh, I was trying to pick up the bow statue. Let's let these goldfish go. And I'm not too worried about shiny things. Alright, drop this stuff off. Gold chest goes here. Did I not pick up the water chest? The whole reason I went down there? Uh, Snowflake stuff goes here. Don't really have a place to put random accessories yet. Oh, I did have a water chest. I've got three, actually. Alright, this is fine for now. Uh, fishing stuff. Where am I going to put a lava bucket? All this random crap in here for the moment. I need more space. Do we still have a fishing quest? Not today. Devil's Dandruff, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's drop all of this silt and slush. Hope you're well, thank you. I see one amber. We should really try farming that. That's like our seventh diamond. Been a beautiful day today. Nice. Oh wow, we got three diamonds. At this rate, I am almost might be tempted to just go for this. Uh, go straight for the diamond hook instead of making a farm first. Uh, we probably don't have enough. Yeah. Alright, so amber and diamonds. Uh, I'll keep one spare. And we'll take a bunch of acorns, if I can remember where I put them. Probably up here. And we make... gem corns. As many diamond and amber gem corns as we can. Quick stack the rest. I guess I'll keep iron and platinum for potion ingredients. I'm still... I'm, I'm still used to thinking that stars are a threat now. And we're going to need to go just deep enough. Let's do it here. To make sure we can grow gem corn trees. Actually, I think we found... Yeah, here it is. Uh, I think this is like amber trees. The worst possible ones. But it looks like we could grow gem corn trees right about here. Nice and easy. We have 12 to place, so we need, like, at least three times that space over here. I'll 
also need room for them to grow up. Are you serious right now? Go sit in the corner and think about what you've done. Okay. Away we go. That should almost be enough for probably eight trees. I could use some bombs to speed it up a little bit. Perfect. And give me that stone. Alright. We need stone. I don't think they can grow in copper. Get that water out of here. Take that copper that we can easily reach. Do they, do you use gem corn trees for money? Uh, never really thought about it that way. I don't know how much money they'd really make. Alright. Let's start by placing as many as we can fit. thereabouts and I would like to have some torches below where each tree goes and one two three need a little bit more space What are they used for? Uh, to get diamonds and amber. I need amber for, I think it's crate potions or something. Diamond gives me the best grappling hook in pre-hard mode. And I can also make a bunch of white torches, which I think look nice. Oh, we already got our first tree exploding into existence. Cool. I might replace uh, much of this with, like, grey brick so that we can't accidentally place the trees in the wrong spot. Should probably be enough. Thank you very much, no worries. Is it even possible? No, I can't accidentally place the... <gasps> yes, I can. If the tree hasn't actually grown yet, I can accidentally kill... Oh, no. Alright, let's be a bit more careful now. Perfect. Actually, let me add a bunch more brick below. 
think that'll look a little bit nicer. Oh, I've run out. That's fine for now. Not a very good haul so far. We haven't gained a single... Um, a single gem. Not Steel Mage. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I didn't pick up the pink gel earlier. They make better, well, stronger grenades. If we combine... These... Bouncy Grenade does just a little bit more damage. A Teleporting Grappling Hook, is it Hard Mode or Calamity? I think it's just Hard Mode. I really enjoyed that hook. Yeah, I think you get it from Queen Slime, maybe? Oh, we can get the Mushroom pi The Mushroom Pylon, you say? Instead of the caverns. Well, I guess that works. I don't really want to pay nine gold for it right now, though. Up we go. Down we go. That's just copper. Alright. Let's head over here. Oh. And you know what? Give me that tiny bit of light. Hello to you in chat. Nice to hang out here as always. Thank you. Good to see you too. May as well take that. Ow, ow, ow. May as well take that gold. Back before you could turn gems into grappling hooks, uh, it took a lot of farming on average to get a hook from skeletons or something. There was only one type of grappling hook, I think, for a long time. Is that a heart? I believe it is. Let's try not to die. Fantastic. Oh god, that's a lot of bats. Not a fan. Okay. I do want to get down there if I can. Seems safe enough. Oh! That is a trap. That is an explosive bomb, or a lit bomb. Open up these other ones as well. I see another trap. Looks like it was all dart traps all the time. Yeah, three touch plates, three dart traps. Take the bookcase, anvil, regen ring, hell yes. Um, I need some inventory space though. Ooh, a Grav Potion. Not that interested in the Tungsten at this stage, but I'll take it. Uh, so we got everything important from here. Is that another two anvils? Just three in a row? Sure, why not? Uh, what else are we dropping? 
I want the band of region probably here. And I think that's pretty much everything. Alright, let's head back for the moment. Empty our inventory. Um, find somewhere to put this for later potion. And what time is it? 9.17? Let's go looking for Sky Islands. And I think there might be one up here. It might just be a glitch. But there was gold that was like, according to the map. Like, the, the indicator of where gold is can be a bit misleading, but there was gold just stuck up here, it seemed like. So let's try that first. Ladybug time. That's uh, six lux, uh, six luck potions, at least. All right, I would much rather do this with uh, fast running boots, but let's start looking for Sky Islands. And be very careful because oh, there it is. Well, it's only a Sky Lake. Uh, be very careful because we don't have fall damage protection. We also don't have the best weapons against Harpy. Oh, I saw something. No, I didn't. That's the background. It kind of feels weird that space doesn't kill us anymore. I guess not flying fast left and right means I've actually got better coverage looking for the Sky Islands. I actually sort of held my breath there, <laughs> confirming that uh, going to space doesn't actually kill us. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have taken that risk with our one precious grab potion. Yeah, the gravity is definitely lower on Don't Dig Up. Here we go. Why is it corrupt or crimson? It's locked? You're joking. That's too cruel. Oh my god, that means this is a whole waste of time. So I can't get balloons or wings until... until we've beaten Skeletron. I guess frog leg? I should get frog leg before I fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Not used to having to strategize. To think about how to kill the Eye of Cthulhu. Actually, only got 13 seconds of gravity left, and I can't remember. Oh, here we go. Can't remember if I used my double jump. Alright. Well, we found two islands, but we can't make use of them. Unfortunate. Can we do a fishing quest? Caught in caverns. That's a yes. Uh, did I never find that? Did 
Did I, did I never pick up that uh, compass? Or is it up here somewhere? There was a violent compass, right? I don't see it. It's not in one of the other uh, slots. Loadouts. I'm going to be very sad if I misplaced a compass. I think it's the depth meter actually that tells us which biome we're in. Okay, so caverns you say. I think I have to be like about this deep for that to work. Didn't bring much bait. Actually, isn't Heavens normally where the demolitionist likes to be? So it doesn't have to be that deep. This is probably fine right here. Maybe if I stand here, I'll work out a bit better. Well, at least we're getting armored cave fish. There we go, guide voodoo fish. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. we go. Give me rewards, fishing potion, master bait. A single piece of bait is not that exciting, I guess. Fishing potion is actually pretty good. Where am I keeping the rest of my worms? We got 20. 22. Fantastic. And let's beef up our mana a bit. Oh, I made too many. Oh no. This is a material though? I don't remember what it goes into. Band of star power. From a panic necklace. I think we have to kill the brain of Cthulhu for that. Repaired mana crystal. Huh? Oh, we need Heavy Workbench Ecto Mist. And we can place it. I guess it's just cosmetic. Alright. I'll just shove that away. Is it arrow up, down to change direction with Grav Potion? Yes, it is. Uh, it's just up. Because it changes your perspective. What was that explosion? Oh, it was a bunny. Ripped bunny. Alright, so we can't get a balloon or wings. I think I probably probably need to fish on the surface to get frog legs. So let's try that. That extra jump height is going to help a lot dodging the eye. And then I really have to search a lot to find... Fast boots. Unless we get it in a random crate, which is entirely possible. Oh, 
up we go. I wish I had ways to make fishing spots where I want them already. Actually, I should see what's down here. Uh, let's do that before we fish. Can't actually squeeze through there. Uh, that is indeed probably a decent fishing spot. I don't know if it's 300 times. Oh no. Um, I really don't think we're prepared to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Let's go downstairs instead. We'll look for some more chests. Probably a good idea to clean up my inventory more, but that means staying on the surface. we go. I want to check out down here. There should be another big cavern of glowing mushroom. Do I have a mining potion? I think I do, but I put it away. You know what? Shine potions are cheap. Let's go. Doesn't look like there is another big cavern. Oh, yes, there might be. Silt. There we go. Oh my. I thought I could get away with one swing of the pickaxe here. Apparently not. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's bouncing back. Oh god. Okay. 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 What's over here? over that way. like we do indeed have a big cavern over here. Alright. We see nothing. I like this uh, glowing moss. It means that there's no traps. The more ground we can cover quickly, the more likely we are to find our chest. 
There we go. There's a house over there. Ooh, I almost hit that touch plate. And I think it must be a boulder trap? No? It doesn't look like there's room for it up here. Maybe there's a... Yeah, there it is. Dart trap. Ow, 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 ow. Jeez. Stop it. Oh, ripworm. Life crystal. Only two to go till we hit max health. Uh, what are these? Tri oh, that's that other house from before. I think these are amber trees. My inventory's a bit full right now. Ooh, there's our depth meter. Gimme, gimme. Whoops. Rip, blink root. Those are indeed amber trees. The ones we've all... Uh, the same type we've already planted. Back at home. Could you stop? Alright, I really need to sort out my inventory soon. Ow. Ow. Oh my god. Let me just grab this cheap healing potion. And clear out any traps. Alright. So here we have nothing exciting. I guess a red potion is welcome, but still. Featherfall potion might be helpful against Eye of Cthulhu, uh, especially once we get the frog legs. Jump over it to get past it. Uh, obviously the rest of this doesn't really matter. Nevertheless, I would like to take it with me. sticks get out of here let's put the chandeliers back up so we know we've been here and I could put back and empty my inventory but I'd have to come all the way back let's just keep heading down here Ouch. There we go. That is half a gem tree and a trap. Let's go get rid of it. We could just barely touch it here and it'd do full damage, so watch out for that. Ooh, spider biomes. Terrifying, but rewarding. Uh, I can't remember if I can get... I think it's actually hard mode. If I can get the spider summon before hard mode, that would probably be OP. Oh good, I'm flanked. Good job, minion. We might find the hairstylist as well. Uh oh, oh, that's a lot of damage, okay. But if I turned around, the sword would have stopped. 
We should have just done it sooner. We can also get the earliest multi-hook in the game, I think. Web Slinger. Uh, I'm not a fan of whatever that is. Ouch. Traveling merchant has arrived. Ooh, what's this? Fried egg. Medium improvements to stats. I'll take it. I haven't actually been eating my food. Take all those cobwebs. And that's pretty much kind of it. Let's get out of here. Talk to the traveling merchant, empty our pockets, and so on. Uh, did I get the portable cement mixer? No, it was the bricklayer, wasn't it? Two more parts to go for that thing. The rest is whatever. Okay. Let's get my inventory sorted. Caught in surface and underground dirt fish. Let's do that. shouldn't take long. Those first two trees appeared very quickly and none of the other ones have still have grown yet. There's our dirt fish. Up we go. And we get high test fishing line already. That's good. Let's make a spare loadout for fishing. Should probably actually find some gear for it. Doesn't actually tell us anything if it's in the social slot. The depth meter doesn't. But now we know which biome we're in. Shield statue in here. Spare potions in here. Fishing potions in here. Bait that I don't normally carry. Uh, what else does pink gel go into? Molotov cocktails, I think. Did they remove them? Bouncy boulder? That's terrifying. Holy crap. Pink slime block. Resto potion. Empty bottle. Couple of mushrooms. Pink gel. Uh, it's the best heal per second that you get before, like, during in pre-hard mode. You can also fish up honey fin, but you have to go to the jungle for that. Underground jungle. Alright, so pretty much only the bouncy grenades is what I care about. Let's get all of them. Um, let me toss a bookcase over here. Kind of like the iron anvil better. Sell these other ones. Ladybug can go in here. Uh, vicious mus 
Uh, is it vicious? Vicious mushroom. <laughs> right, great pressure played. Mushroom seeds begun. And let's exchange this silt. Diamond? Hell yes. Still no trees. Let's take one of our acorns. Make one more gem corn. Drop it off down here. Oh, I messed this up. There we go. Seems good. Uh, where should I go next? Probably keep going down here. Should be able to cover ground relatively quickly. Keep finding. I, I want to fish up frog legs, actually. Let's do that first. I don't think... I don't know if we can do it underground. Let's go upstairs. So we got 24 decent bait. I wonder if fishing power would help. Let's get that. Give me the good bait. Give me the fishing potion. Give me the crate potions as well while we're at it. We could go and get uh, Crimtain, potentially. Well, I guess the Eye of Cthulhu would be the best way to get that. I've never actually thought of mining it specifically. Just to get a better fishing rod. It would only be 20% bait power, though. I think I've only got the... Oh, we've got plus 5%. Plus 6% movement speed. That's why it feels slightly less bad. Alright. Lent, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's make the most of our fishing. Golden crate? Alright, that's a good start. Wooden crate. Oh, I should grab that fishing accessory as well. dislike how the bait flashes. Oh, you mean like how it's, uh... There's sort of a pseudo... opacity? Or lack of opacity, because it's, like, flickering? Yeah. The what's up? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, 
I could make sure it's off screen, I guess. So we got six, four, uh, five crates so far. It's really quite good. One iron, one gold. Make that four wooden crates. I can't remember if... I, th I think you fish up uh, legs directly. You don't necessarily get them from crates. But I could be wrong. No, I'm pretty sure they definitely come up directly. Little bits of snow drifting over here look kind of weird. Should I spend some time... I mean, I've only got two fit crate potions, so it's going to happen regardless. But spend a little time fishing without the crate potions might actually be the best chance to get the frog legs. a much better hole than last time for crates. Probably the, uh... Ooh, frozen crate. We might get ice skates or something. Uh, but yeah, probably the master bait had something to say about it. Six seconds left on the current crate. Don't really need frost. I say we don't really need frost daggerfish, but if those pierce, that's actually really good for the Eye of Cthulhu. how those flying fish are dropping glow sticks. Hey, there's our frog leg. Does it not actually give us higher jump height? I thought it did. Uh, let's use our next crate potion. Another frozen crate. Could you stop? There we go. Second frog leg, I'll take it, I guess. And crate number two. Fantastic. Frozen crate number three. This was a really good haul. Oh, I didn't actually. Yes, I did. Could you stop? There we go. I'm pretty much just going by ears to pull in the, uh, pull in the stuff. 
good fishing spot? Yeah, it only really matters if it's um, 300 tiles of water or not. Ow. Oh, it's night time now. Uh, I probably shouldn't stay here. Oh! Yeah, like I said, I would have been out of there if it didn't take so long to switch to potion. Uh, um, well, I was going to say I'll go down here to use the rest of the fishing potion, but it's gone now. At least we have our crates and stuff. Alright, let me see what my jumping height is. It's just barely over this, uh, this tile right here. With frog leg. Oh yeah, it's it's higher. That's good. Um, what can we combine it with? Oh, that already feels better. I know I can combine it with flipper. You can actually combine it with sailfish boots. Oh, except I have to find the tinkerer first. I'm really not used to the early game, honestly. Why 300 tiles max depth or something? Uh, it's not the depth, it's just the number of... Like, even even a very shallow water, as long as there's 300 tiles of it, I think it is, uh, will give you... It's basically a lack of a penalty for fishing. Anyway, let's see what's in our crates. I'll work my way up. So we got... A aglet, that's actually very helpful. Almost maximum movement speed, plus 8%. Fantastic. There's our sailfish boots. Nice. Don't need to go looking for those now. Um, some bait and ore, don't care. Step stool, don't really care. Swiftness potion, we'll take it. Mining potion, journeyman bait. What's this? Tin ore. Some bait. Iron bars, gills, potions, and more sailfish boots. Alright. Uh, sailfish boots, I like to put fast boots down the bottom. We'll probably stop using these. Except that they give us movement speed, right? This one gives us plus three. Well, if it's movement speed I want, it's the hasty aglet that we should be using. Uh, obviously, the fishing line we're not usually using. Uh, so we've got... Super fast running, double jump... Oh, not double jump. Well, yes, double jump. Super fast running, movement speed, big jump, double jump, regen, and room for one more accessory. Oh yeah, let me test if this pierces. It does. I'll definitely be using those against the Eye of Cthulhu. Um, so probably hasty shoe spikes just for the movement, unless we find something else. Um, I think we have to go smash an orb in the Crimson for the goblin army to be able to show up so that we can get the uh, Tinkerer's Workshop. Alright, let's see what's in the frozen crate. Ice skates, beautiful. That is a sometimes difficult to find component for frost spark boots. Very, very nice. Uh, as for the lightning boots, we just need... We need the goblin Tinkerer and we need uh, Anklet of the Wind. Uh, what else? More ice skates. Fish summons a baby. Oh, baby penguin. That's cute. And ice blade, but it's shoddy. What a tease! That's one of the best early game weapons, but it's got the worst possible stats on it. Hey, I have a question. Is this game worth to buy if I want to play solo? Oh, absolutely. 
yes. Uh, hard to pronounce name and Emprivor. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing now. Uh, well. All right, let's put this stuff away. Um, I guess the accessories I'll shove in here for now. And golden... Uh, let's do the iron crate. Not very exciting. Journeyman bait and mana potion. Golden crate. One more life crystal. Some gold ore. And... Seven master bait. That's actually not bad at all. Alright. Is it being ridiculously overcautious to do the... Um, Goblin army before the Eye of Cthulhu? Probably. Explosive bunny. Give me that blink root. I need to get some moon glow. Oh, it feels good. It feels good to have movement. Oh, that's nice. It's not much compared to the late game, but it's so much better than before. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we can beat the Eye of Cthulhu with this. I think I was muted, my bad. Movement feels nice. An owl? Um... I really want the Eye of Cthulhu to show up now, but that can't happen naturally for at least half a day. Do we have enough lenses to summon it, and do I actually have access to a demon altar? I need to organize my inventory still. Lenses are not here. Where could they be? Also, what does Frost Minnow do for us? Resistance to cold? Yeah. Okay. Fishes in here. There's... Do we really just have one lens? I could have sworn we picked up two lenses at once earlier. What the hell? I can't think of anything I could have made that needs a lens. Need five more? Oh, that hurts. Let's put it in here for now. Well, at least we got this movement stuff. Let's go get our money back. Or some of it. I need to fix that little bit of terrain that I keep getting stuck on. Goblin Army, aka Cheese It with Lava Pitfall? Yeah. I might just not do that. I think it kind of counts as a boss fight arena. I mean, if I was playing hardcore, I would cheese the hell out of it. I 
If I ever do speed running, definitely. All right, we got our gold. Why is it spread all over the place? Oh, no matter. All right, what should I do? Oh, I forgot I don't have the inner tube, like, actually equipped. I can't think where I've seen a demon altar that's accessible. I don't believe I have, as a matter of fact. We could maybe go to the jungle at this point. That might be a good idea. Gotta be careful, though. Um... Or we could go pop a pair of demon orbs. So the goblin army can show up. Also meteors. I want to get meteor armor. Best DPS armor well into early hard mode. Not sure why I'm going into the ice biome, actually. Let's uh, skip it for now. I already got ice skates, sailfish boots. Um, we got the ice blade, but it was a troll. I think everything we want from the ice biome long term, we've already got it. Yeah, let's head to the Crimson. Why did that balloon pop? The little penguin has a rocket? Bruh. Adorable. We've definitely got the movement items to handle inside the underground Crimson a lot better now. If we're lucky, we'll get a gun as well. Alright, down we go. Or not. That's a weird biome. I haven't done the Torch God yet, I'm probably ready for it, as long as I can find a good spot to do it. The Crimson Underground should provide a good natural spot or two, but like... The spawn rate of enemies... Maybe not as good. I forgot to show the boomerang to the guide as well. I kind of want to see where this goes. Okay, 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 okay. Nice bounce. Not, not nice bounce. I bet it leads to that other entrance, but it doesn't actually act as an entrance. Oh, no, it's just a fork in the road. Okay, then. Hmm. 
There's our demon altars. Or crimson altars. Oh, that's actually lava. Wasn't expecting that here. Not a fan, to be honest. Good thing the knockback on this boomerang is so large. Alright, let's get a bomb. Or two. And there's our first orb broken. Not leaving anything on the ground, am I? We technically only need to break one. I also did get a gun. Let's get out of here. Oof. The juggles. Alright, I should go build a house in the desert for the nurse and the arms dealer. Um, I'd like to do it all out of palm wood, but bombs are probably going to drop. Palm wood and cactus and whatever else is nearby. There we go, palm wood. Maybe I could do a pair of trapdoors here. We got to actually bring any cactus, so let's cut this down. Just hope these ones won't drop bombs and mess up the scenery. So far, so good. Ouchie. Did I get any bullets? Nope, no bullets. Just build up this way and over here. I'm going to want the pylon in the middle here. Twelve tiles seems reasonable for that. Full inventory, so no bullets? Yeah, I guess so. Except I moused over, like, I was trying to check that I didn't leave anything behind. I thought I... I thought I had made sure. Okay, need a little bit more palm wood. Those trees are closer together than I would be able to plant them. Don't drop a bomb. No! Gonna have to bring sand back just to make it not look weird. Speaking of making it not look weird, let's get rid of this weird hole that I dug earlier. Because I had nowhere to go. Oh my goodness. 
Nice job on the knockback there, little guy. Okay. One more tree. Let's get some workbench. Should be a middle tile here. There is. Uh, I think the candelabra looks good. And let's go for... I don't know about these chairs, to be honest. What about a regular chair? With all the palm wood. Could do a cactus door, lol. So it's not the same color. I need a bunch more palm wood, I think. Unless I want to do cactus walls, which I don't think I do. Palm wood looks nice as far as walls go. Alright, so this should be valid housing. The chair looks a little out of place. The merchant has departed. Uh oh. Juggle, juggle. Don't give me a bomb. Thank you. Don't give me a bomb. Thank you. Don't give me a bomb. Don't give me a bomb. Don't give me a bomb. Fantastic. the nurse, and this will be the arms dealer. Oh, hello, nurse. You seem to be having some trouble. Let me give you a hand. Cast teleportation. I can't actually get high enough. Let's just get you off screen. Okay, okay, I wasn't looking where I was going. Do need to kill demon eyes. Way too many. Hey, fallen stars don't kill us. Alright, the nurse did not die on day one. Good for her. I kind of want cactus for the roof here. 
but we need more. Come back for that later. I don't think NPCs can show up during the night, can they? Having this one NPC here is actually a good control for the spawn rate of monsters, it seems like. Give me your lens. Yes. Now I only need like four more, I think. To summon the eye when I'm actually ready. Gotta get some more cactus. Oh, that's actually the end of the desert, I forgot. Also, my inventory's full again? Uh, I guess I can turn this back into palm wood. And we're full yet again. Um, I don't really need... I kind of want to keep all of this, to be honest. There we go. But for now, we're just putting a bit of cactus here. Lens. Fantastic. And get the hammer out. Something like this, I imagine. I could actually make that one right there. A platform, so it's a bit easier to get through. Where did my platform go? Get the old hammer out. There we go. And cactus. Uh, that's not quite right, is it? That looks good. No lens. We've only got two more to go before we can make a summon a suspicious looking eye. Zombie banner, sure. Could make a bunch of uh, jester arrows as well. Okay. What was I about to do? Oh yeah, the, like, fences. Couple of palm wood platforms. Palm wood fence. A bit further out than that. Seems good. And palm wood fence. That's a good start. Oh, and we need palm wood wall here, otherwise, or well, some kind of wall here, otherwise, um, enemies could spawn. I think I like having a little slightly different texture here. Alright, I literally need one or two more demon eyes. 
So we can summon the eye tomorrow night. Ooh. Give me that moon glow before I have to go deep into the jungle for it. Ow. Uh, what am I dropping? Wood wall? Perfect. And those seeds. Time is at 2.20 a.m. I like how the pet is acting as a light source whenever it flies. Alright, moon glow. Get in there. There we go. Oh, what a shot. And no lens. Unfortunate. Okay, so all of our lenses are in here. We have five. We literally just need one more. We've got one more minute to potentially spawn an eye. And then we need it to not escape. Where are they when you need them? Nowhere to be seen. Well, at least we get some stars. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Come here. Yes. Now drop a lens. Aww. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Rip. Alright, back we go. At least the arms dealer should spawn in a minute. Let's get a new fishing quest. Surface Tundra. We can do that. Uh, but first let me grab a drink real quick. That's the stuff. Explosive bunny, we'll take it. Up we go. We fish from surface tundra. Uh, preferably with the fishing line. Any oh, that's it. 
Fantastic. We get mine cup. Okay, cool. The arms dealer has arrived. Let's get our first pylon. Not that we're going very far with it, but it's a start. I need to get an NPC temporarily, uh, probably the shopkeep, to be in the forest biome so we can get that one. We can also get a proper gun. Not that the uh, Undertaker is terrible, but I mean it's about as weak as guns get. Uh, but Mini Shark? Much better. This isn't a material or anything. I never thought I'd be fighting the Eye of Cthulhu with a Mini Shark, actually. Alright, we got practically infinite ammo. Uh... May as well sell the Frostburn arrows, like... I'll hold on to them just in case. More to the point, Desert Pylon, here we go. I actually like that glow with the background darker wall. Very nice. And now we can spray bullets to our heart's content. Let's go back. I need to make a little... I guess I could make a temp NPC shack the merchant instead. Instead of shuffling them around. The roof is uneven on the nurse's side. Uh, might be. We'll get to that when I actually have some more cactus. I think I've got a bunch of it here. Don't know if it's enough to build the roof that I want to yet. Oh, we need a door. Duh. All right, merchant, get in here. I don't think he'll teleport during the day. So we'll pretty much have to wait for night time to be able to buy our uh, pylon. Can we quick stack this from here? We actually can. I dare say we've got enough uh, day bloom at this point. Okay. I'm so disappointed we got a shoddy ice blade though. Let's just put it in here for now. Not really using the emerald staff. I haven't even thought of using the wooden yo-yo. Uh, how many lenses? I think we still have one less than we need to summon. So what should I do pre to prepare for a boss fight like today? We've got movement, jump, double jump, regen, tungsten armor. We've probably got enough gold to slightly upgrade our armor. May as well do that. 68. We need 50, 75. Ouch. So we need, uh, seven more? 
7 times 4, 28. We actually don't have enough. Okay. But gold appears in much bigger chunks on this seed. So we could probably go down and get it right now. Other than buffing our defense a little bit. How have these still not grown? Literally, we had the first two trees explode into existence seconds after we placed uh, these gem cones. Spiky RNG. Oh yeah, I should check with the guide. Uh, where's our obsidian? We did our quest, right? Yeah, we did. Obsidian. Here it is. We do need a Hellforge for the best summoning gear. Okay. This one just needs a furnace. May as well do that now. Immunity to fire blocks. Uh, and it does combine with a few things. Might just keep that handy somewhere. If I do make gold armor, I can make the silver armor, the tungsten armor, my um, old set for fishing as well. So it's not that big of a so-called waste. I should buy the, um, should do it right now, actually. should buy the mushroom pylon before I shuffle things around as well. Wait, can I buy the mushroom pylon if the shopkeep technically doesn't live here? No, I can't. Shopkeep, get your butt in here. There we go. And then when I go back at night, I can teleport him up there. Alright, down we go. I need to do the Torch Guard as well. This is probably a good spot. I might need to give myself some platforms or something though, so I can climb. That's just copper. So we literally just need like 20 gold ore or something like that, right? I think we've already found it. Yep. May as well get a little extra while we're here, though. As is light. 15? Yeah, probably. I want to have some left over to make Spelunker potions and stuff, though. That's a good chunk of gold.
It's really difficult to aim these things. Alright, let's grab all this mess. Already my inventory's full. I kind of wish Terraria would go by Skyrim's model of weight or something. There's just too many types of items. Ooh. Hey, suspicious looking eye. That's what we were saving up for. Alright, Daybloom seeds are free. Um... Uh, glowing mushrooms are kind of free. Web slinger is better than amethyst hook. I th I'm pretty sure it has more range anyway. And I don't really care about the grim sand blocks. Alright, let's go back. I want to test the range. Oh, okay. Amethyst hook. God, that's bad. Okay, so amethyst hook doesn't quite reach the door here. Web slinger clearly does. So yeah, it's just better. Um, it's a multi hook as well. Needs piggy bank, yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't had a single blood moon yet. I forgot to actually pay, place the mushroom pot. Okay, I'm kind of glad to see that we've got this NPC available, but that's oh, fine, just gives the pylon. Move you to the jungle later on. What time is it? 6.45. It is very nearly time to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Uh, let's see. We've got our red potions. We've got regen, defense, heal, light. Uh, there's not a whole lot more we can make at this stage. I think I wanted to use the featherfall potion. Got that in here somewhere. And heart reach might help. The little eyes can drop hearts, right? Why not? I really only use those for boss fights. And what else have we got? Titan doesn't really matter. May as well. Danger Sense doesn't do anything. Water Walking doesn't really do anything. Except for when I walk into this. But who cares? I think we are ready. We've got tons of ammo. We've got Mega Shark, Mini Shark. Let's do this thing. If we have trouble with the Eye of Cthulhu now... I don't know what to say. Oh, now you're going to drop the one lens we need, right? Right. Alright. Wait till my health regens a little bit. Oh, I want to see what Red Potion does. Six minutes, shine, night. I think I already had those. Ten... 30 minutes of Wrath, 30 minutes of Swiftness, 30 minutes of Endurance. Wow. Um, and I think it's actually, if I recall correctly, they're actually kind of random. Alright, let's, let's go. Let's dance. We're obviously a lot better able to avoid it this time. Not that zombie, though. Get out of here, zombie. Oh, what a shot. Alright, let's do some piercing attacks. Get rid of those eyes. 
No. Could you die already? Stop interrupting. Yeah, this fight's not gonna last that long. <laughs> Go. Still not really able to avoid him. But plenty of defense, plenty of damage, plenty of time. Would you die? Thank you. Thank you. Uh kinda wish I had another summon to do it again, but hey, we've got the shield of Cthulhu now. It's going to make certain things a lot easier. I still haven't put away this death weed, I'm noticing. I think we can handle King Slime now. I just have this suspicion. I forgot to give myself gold armor as well. Uh, but yeah, we have some Crimtain Ore. Let's turn it into bars. That can go here. And what can we make? Possibly a better shield, but I mean, sword, but the katana is probably fine. A uh, tendon bow would be better. It would be good if we didn't have mini shark already. Uh, I guess we can have a better axe. Flesh catcher for 22% fishing. Uh, we could also do an actually decent yo yo. And, of course, we have Cool Shades, which don't look as cool with the Obsidian Skull. Let's just put this over here. Yes, perfect. Um, wait, if I put this in the Vanity slot but I click this button? No, it does keep its visual. GG, indeed. I kind of, I really want a Blood Moon to show up at this stage. So we're waiting on Blood Moon, um, a Goblin Army, Slime to fall from the sky unless I want to spend gold to summon the King Slime. I need to do Brain of Cthulhu. That's, I think Brain of Cthulhu is going to be the really nasty early to mid-game boss. I think I'll sell this hat now. Those owls always land at the same spot. Get in my belly. Um, actually, you're the only one I can sell to over here. Let me through. Yeah. Uh, Shield of Cthulhu probably can go here. Oh, that's good. I don't like the input of double dash, but I quite like having the dash. Never actually placed the forest pylon. Let's put it here. Deerclops? Oh god. Just skip tear clocks, honestly. It's not worth it. Not even remotely worth it. Takes like half an hour to kill him. He just goes invulnerable unless you're up in his face. And then it's basically impossible to dodge all his attacks. Uh, he never, like, retreats or gains health or anything, so you basically just... It's basically just a slog to kill him. You can even, like, chip away at him little by little over the course of hours. 
as you leave and come back if you so desire. It's honestly, I think, the worst, as in worst designed, no fun, not actually a challenge. I, I think it's the worst boss fight in the game. Meat unit. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's put our forest pylon here. And our very first trophy down here. Apparently I didn't have a golden headstone before. Where did I drop it? Um, should probably go put this mushroom pile on somewhere instead of letting it take up my inventory space. Ooh, blink root seeds. The Featherfall Underground early game is surprisingly nice. Cool, now I can teleport this far anyway. Um, give me a piggy bank. Put it where the guide is, I guess. Blink root seeds need to be planted. Not really using mana potions at this stage. Uh, obsidian can go in pre-hard mode metals. I feel like something's wrong with how long these saplings haven't grown for. I just realized possibly the reason they're not growing. I'll want to dig this out later anyway, so let's do it now. I'm thinking the uh, bricks next to them are actually preventing them from growing somehow. strange how long they've been not growing. Alright, we'll see what that does. Where should I go in the meantime? I think jungle. Let's get gold armor, because why not? Take that to the jungle. normally skip this one. So we go from plus three defense, four, five, and three, four, five, and four, and plus three. De Are you kidding? I literally gained one defense for that? Bruh. I know tungsten is the stronger ver uh, version of silver, but and gold is, like, weaker than platinum, but damn. Alright, we've got uh, silver armor for our fishing set anyway. No beak. Um... Put some stuff away, so 
I have more inventory space. Do we have a fishing quest? Put in surface. Let's do that first. For some reason I have crimstone blocks. And vertebrae. Vertebra. How much better my movement is than at the start of the stream. It did say caught in surface, right? Oh yeah, this is my fishing set. I almost forgot. So far the only benefit is fishing line won't break, but that's something. Fuzzy carrots. This is actually our first mount. Let's get rid of the umbrella hat. Wait, what? It sells for nothing? Okay. And I kind of want the guide to critter companionship. Oh, you can just right click it to turn it on, on and off. That's nice. I don't suppose the upgraded version you can cycle which effects are active. Right click to deactivate effects, probably not. Okay. Regardless, that goes here. Chuck this in the temp chest for potion ingredients. Don't really need to carry a million wooden arrows. Or crimstone blocks for that matter. Alright, let's head for the jungle. Don't you have two axes? Uh, mm, yes I do. Good point. Thank you. One copper and one white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised I didn't notice that for so long. How about you slime? And we go straight into the underground jungle. Do I want to do that? What did I come here for? I got the moon glow growing at home already. I can't think of anything else. Well, I'd like to make a house in the jungle. We have beaten a boss, so the dryad should be trying to show up. Let's get some bamboo. And I want not bums to fall out of these. Fantastic. Give me some of that rich mahogany. Uh, and I didn't get a single acorn to replace them. Hello, pinky. a minute to cut through 600 hit points at this point. Free gold. I forgot Pinky drops a lot of gold. I was really only thinking of the pink gel. 
Give me the bamboo. of places to build over water so far. Our DPS against jungle things is not that great. Is there any reason to explore past the jungle? Since we've found the ocean and... Oh yeah, I can think of one. If we're lucky, we'll get the um, underneath the ocean tunnel thing. And we'll get some water walking boots. Without farming for it for a million years. Fishing, rather. Also, just kind of, kind of like to have my uh, biome pylons not right next to each other all the time. Probably already got way more than enough bamboo. This will be a good spot to build our jungle house. Oh boy, that bounce. Forgetting I can dash. What does the bunny mount do? Uh, it basically, it's kind of like the mount equivalent of any boots that say the wearer can run super fast. You have to build up momentum, but you get pretty quick. I had one playthrough where I was so unlucky finding boots that this was actually the first means that I got. Oof, oof, ow, 100 damage. Good thing I had the uh, frog leg equipped. What's this? Wait, what is that? Yellow... Get over here. Yellow cockatiel. I haven't seen one of those before. Go in peace. Fantastic. I do want some cactus still. Might be good to move the uh, desert pylon over here later so I can actually teleport further. Alternatively, I could just set up a teleport network. What should we drop? I haven't... I just realized I've found at least three herb bags and I haven't opened any of them. Uh, rope. Let 
me that cactus. Jump that lava? Probably not. Let's get our wood. Oh, jeez. Bloody double tap dash input. Holy crap. Especially in a game with no walk button. Alright, what do we find over here? Another radar? Sure. N-O worms. More lava. Let's put these claws over here. some crap in this chest. Don't really care about the lead bars that much. I definitely care less about the blueberries. Alright, let's make another bridge. Where's my wood? Oh, you're kidding. It didn't, like, drop into the lava or something. No, it's over here. And suddenly all the demon eyes. Now that we're not looking for them. Alright. Did they not drop any lenses? We did get one. Shuriken, kind of worse. Frost daggerfish, except we can buy lots of them and they stack high. Well, we can literally just buy them. It's just money. Hey, we got three lenses, though, now that we don't need them. Alright, how close are we, relatively? Make that four lenses. Do not dash into the lava. Let's do it this way. Flammable wood to protect us from the hot magma. Alright, as is light. Ouch. Oh my god. I think at point blank the uh, boomerang is actually stronger if you attack fast enough. Let's leave. Open the old cano worms. We got plenty of stars. Let's make enchanted night crawlers. Herb bags. Uh, apparently I never did open the herb bags. Maybe it was cano worms. Regardless, we got a handful of deathweed and fire blossom. I think we can make some craft potions. But since we have to beat Skeletron before we can get uh, into the Sky Island stuff, 
not terribly excited about that. Let's get Moonglow and Blinkroot growing a hell of a lot faster. Why is it a Lantern Knight? I don't remember what I killed. Or was that still the Eye of Cthulhu? Let's just replace the Daybloom. We've got more than enough. Okay, Blink Root. Get in there. Uh, thought we had more pots than this. Don't know what I just killed. Alright, get out of here, Blink Root. I mean, they bloom. Alright, quick stat. Let's make some more bouncy grins. And that's way too few frost daggerfish to bother carrying. Let's just sell them. And I think I should make uh if I want a piercing attack, I should use a bow. And I'll just use the, uh, the shiny arrows. Just as arrows. 400? Seems good. Make it 500. Oh, never mind. Uh, never mind then. Let me go grab one star at least so I can put it in my ammo slot so I don't have to think about it later. this stuff away. Kind of want to hold on to this to build a jungle home. What time is it? 1.15 a.m. An owl? Um, do I have somewhere to put the shiver thorn? Give me that blink root. Not really. Why don't I put some clay pots up here? Maybe later. There we go. Shut these seeds in here for now. Uh, wood can go over there. And wooden arrows get out of my sight. Alright. We don't have a fishing quest, do we? Nope. Where should I go in the meantime? I definitely want to build our jungle home right here. Let's grab some acorns so that I can replant trees in case we have bad luck with that. Oh, I want to fight King Slime as well. We'll fight King Slime, do a fishing quest, and then head over and build a jungle farm. Farm? Home. You know what I mean. So for King Slime, we need a bunch of gel. We need a gold crown. 
and I believe we need a demon altar, though. And again, I haven't found a convenient one. I think I might have seen one in the ice biome. I would have had to dig for it. Maybe not. Oh, that's still pretty damn far away. I think it would be easier to just go to the Crimson. Alright, let's do that. Um, and I'll buy a bunch of shurikens. Wait, no, it was the bow that I was going to use for piercing damage. So slot 6 is kind of free right now. I'll just put the flink staff there for now. Okay. I guess we're off to... Before I go, I'll double check the recipe. It is 20 gel and 1 gold cr uh, crown. Iki bank? You mean this? Alright, we do have the bunny mount, so it won't take as long as it normally would. Double jump still works with this thing. It's not so good at hilly terrain, though. You are just not using it? Yeah, I just haven't got around to it. I could... I could get around to it a whole lot more naturally if we had a Blood Moon. So I could get the... Uh, uh, what is it called? The Money Trough? Rain does not want me to sprint. I'm pretty sure we don't need that much Shiverthorn. It's a relatively rare ingredient, use-wise. It's also very easy to farm. It's the one plant that just stays blooming once it gets once it reaches maturity. Maybe I should build a rail network. Could you get out of the way, please? Alright, down we go. Let's take this area seriously. Light, regen, defense, movement. I'm not going to pop a red potion for anything but a boss though, because I haven't seen any, any indication that there's an infinite supply. Maybe we can get them from fishing? And indeed, we did leave our bullets behind earlier. Okay. Mini Shark is not as strong against these things as I would hope. Um, and here we go with the Slime Crown. Is there anything else I want to do while I'm here? Probably pop one more of these. Let's see, Sticky Bum, could you stop? Oh, 
one more. Oh my god. And oh my that's lava. What am I doing? Okay. There we go. And we got the rotted fork. Uh, absolute garbage. I guess it can probably hurt things through walls. But yeah, next time we break one of those, it's going to summon the boss. Uh, I guess it would pierce and hit multiple enemies at once. Maybe that's worth considering. this exact situation it's very very useful actually against one enemy it's not so impressive all right let's go back and while we've got our buffs up fight king slime oh my holy crap that is a very large slime. Alright. We just have to kite it for long enough, right? And apparently... Oh! Apparently the teleporting on top of you is a lot more aggressive than normal. And then I got comboed by literally one hit. And all that traveling just to make that one summoning item, we have to do that again. <sighs> that hitbox is gigantic, yeah, and it combos to itself. So it's actually like a one-hit kill, apparently. Um, maybe King Slime is not weaker than Eye of Cthulhu in this mode. Does a single layer of platforms count as an arena? I would say so, yes. I just need a... I need a Featherfall Potion again. So I can jump over him. Uh, but more to the point, like, I had to just know ahead of time. That's not something that I could have just got right if I'd never seen King Slime before. The moment that I see him teleporting, I have to move. Or already be moving. It's not like I could have reacted to it. Maybe with the dash, but like, I basically have to see him start doing that animation that is not obvious that he's teleporting, and assume that I have to dash away the, the, the nanosecond that I see that. basically the opposite of what I respect in boss fight design. <sighs> Shield of Cthulhu is annoying when it knocks you back by accident, yeah. But we don't get... I think there's only three things that give you dash in the entire game, and we don't get the other two that don't work that way um, until, like, well into hard mode. Well, one of the earliest hard mode bosses. If you use the, uh, the Crystal Assassin armor set, which isn't very good. Uh, that gives you a dash. There's also the Master Ninja gear, which is like post plant terror. I'm, I'm actually annoyed that like, literally just one time. Oh, let's see what it's like, you know. Oh, I think he's doing his teleport. I'd better move. It's already too late. For the entire boss fight. You fool. Go spend five minutes traveling. And farming for the privilege to try that again. Could you stop... Where's my summon? There we go. It did say surface, right? Or maybe surface tundra? Do 
DS2 boss design, Dark Souls. Yeah, I've heard... I haven't actually played Dark Souls, but from what I've heard and seen, it's basically, like, not actually difficult if you know the game. Like, it, it's the kind of fake difficulty that's good for people to brag about, even if they're not particularly skilled. Underground Tundra. Oh, okay. We can do that. That doesn't lead anywhere. DS2 has janky bosses? Janky? What do you mean by janky? My favorite boss fight in uh, Terraria is Duke Fishron. Apart from the nonsense of the tornadoes, uh, the sharknadoes, because they end up being off screen and you like run into them. Yeah, this thing sucks with single target. Um, let me put this over here. And the bow can go here. And we'll use the sword most of the time. Um, but yeah, like, okay, so it's unfair and stupid, the, uh, the way the Sharknadoes basically block your path from off screen. Uh, and you basically have to, like, learn a rhythm to control... That was quick. To control more or less where the Sharknadoes end up and, like, avoid the area that they're generally in. Um, but other than that, Duke Fisheron is actually tough but fair. Uh, we got some Master Bait. That's nice. Sonar Potions. We'll take it. Cheesy slash annoying, I see. Yeah, if, uh... Like, if pretty much everything about the Duke Fishron boss fight was... Sharknadoes, it would definitely be my least favorite boss fight. Um, where am I going? That really broke my... Low. I actually can't believe it comboed me to death from one teleport. When, and with gold armor, no less. I was summoning King Slime. That was supposed to be the first thing for the day. Just knock that off. Knock that off, do a fishing quest, and then go build our jungle home. But now it's late. I guess I could finish the, uh... The desert one? Do we need any more palm wood? I don't think so. I just wanted to do the roof is looking uneven. Or is it? Do I want it to be like this? Probably not. It doesn't look right either. Okay, let me just do it the way I would do it without the platforms. One, two, one, two, one, two. And hammer, hammer, hammer. And then let's replace this with a platform. So it's just a little bit easier. That doesn't look quite right. That doesn't look quite right. A little bit easier to get up from here. I don't mind that, yeah. Cool. And I think... 
probably one one more. That's a good size for the reef. That doesn't look right. There we go. some light up here. How about a couple of these? Seems good. What's that boss in Monster Hunter that became a meme because of the hitbox? It's like a fish thing, I think. I don't know. I heard, um, is it Dark Souls or a similar game? There's a boss that, like, the first boss fight is unwinnable, but it's also incredibly easy to dodge the attacks, so it's just, like, kind of really insulting. All right. Um, oh, and I want some, some blink root planters down here, but for that I need the dryad. It's 8.30pm. Uh, this is the worst possible time for this. Why have we still not had a goblin invasion or a meteorite? Or a blood moon, for that matter. We actually haven't had a single event except for slime falling from the sky. Oh well. Uh, why don't we dig down? Make a bit of a elevator while we're waiting. I think I have a mining potion or two, actually. Lying around somewhere. Where is it? Oh no. Now I'm wasting cheap potion time. Hey, blink root. Let's go. Mining potion. Mining potion. Mining potion. I see it not. It's not in here. It's not in any of the water chests. It's not in here. I could have sworn I had a mining potion. Maybe I lost it by pressing B. Oh well. At least we have the bone pickaxe. And at least we missed this lava. DS1 has boss fight that first time kills you and has a chance to curse you. Hey, look what we have over here. Fantastic. Uh, we got one whole diamond from that one. We got nothing. We lost a gem corn for that one. That was a lot better. Three gem corns, two diamonds. Uh, nothing but one diamond. Nothing but one diamond. We're barely breaking even on a lot of these. One diamond, one gem corn. That was terrible. So 
This is why I don't normally... If I've only got one diamond, I'll just not bother planting it. Because of how bad the luck can be. You can actually just lose everything. That'll do for now, though. Boop, boop, beep, boop. Gem corns, diamonds, amber. I need to slightly more than double my diamonds. We can get a, the longest hook that pre-hard mode has to offer. So basically... For the Worthy is Terraria beta version? What? Oh no, wait, wait, wait. I don't want to kill this, um, fishing spot. Um, let's put a little dam up here, and there should still be plenty of, plenty of tiles for this to be a perfectly good fishing spot. Down we go. There was lava everywhere in the early versions? Yeah, I don't think so. Still drowning. how big that cavern was. Let's put some mud up here. Is that a topaz squirrel? Yes it is. I didn't think we were close enough to the town to make something like that spawn. I guess it was while we were falling. Could you not? Maybe I could go for an early Hellforge. Oh. Oh, I didn't see you there. For the worthy world is referred to in the code as get good world chin. I'm cringing in anticipation what it might do to some of the other bosses. I haven't had to stop for any traps or anything. That's a skeleton. Okay, okay, I didn't mean to press that. Okay, 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 it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, let's actually get some water leaf. What time is it? 4.09 a.m. We can start traveling again soon. Go plant our blink root. Queen bee summoning items being everywhere. I saw the mecha bosses on the zenith seed. That was a WTF moment. The one where it combines them all. Hey, we finally have a goblin army. I wonder if they're going to be OP somehow. I imagine it would just be a stat boost or something. Okay, I'm going to need lots of grenades. 
I already do have lots of bouncy grenades. More would be better. I can't travel, really. Uh, this is probably fine. We've got food, we've got a couple of explosive bunnies. We got... Oh, piercing arrows, let's do more of those. I've actually barely got any stars, though. Uh, where are my wooden arrows? Here we go. Chest arrows... Oh, that was too quick. Okay. How about you? Wait, that's not my grenade slot. I need to get those spiky balls. There we go. Fun NPCs, I guess. Spiky balls. There we go. I never intended for this to be... I need to get my... my quick keys together. There we go. I never intended for that to be like a makeshift arena, but can't be helped. That's a lot of warriors. That's an awful lot of defense they have. Oh. Only a quarter of the way there. It'd be nice if I had a balloon. Just saying. Spiky balls. I think the grenades are better than the Jester arrows for this. Ow. Oops. Oh, I haven't even used my buff potions. We don't need to. Um, I don't want to die by those words. Bouncy grins really are a lot more difficult to use. More spiky balls. Are surprisingly weak. Um, Bork is probably best here. Still pretty bad, honestly.
Tabin. Could you be persuaded to stop? You are invisible. I do not approve. There we go. Ouch. Ouch. Stop it. Stop it. My arm is actually pretty good for this. It feels weird, honestly, with how OP the bosses are. This feels like a holiday. Now we can start combining uh, accessories. Actually bounced over their heads. Shark tooth necklace would be nice to get through this armor. Shame I haven't had even the possibility of picking one up yet. Goblin army has been defeated. Fantastic. The zoologist having fun, indeed. Alright. Now we start looking for Goblin Tinkerer. Just have to be deep enough for him to show up. Do I have any Hunter's Potions? I think I have one Shark Fin. Did you get the flying piggy bank? No, that's the, um, that's the blood moon. I haven't had a single blood moon yet. Uh, where is my shark fin? Meat unit, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Caught in glowing mushroom fields. We can look for the, uh... We can look for the goblin at the same time. Preferably with a hunter potion. Which we don't have. Oh, there's the shark fin. Where's the guide? Way over there. Slacking off. Crafting... We need... I was gonna say... I don't think illegal gun parts go into any potions. Uh, it's just Daybloom blink, uh, blink Root. Which should be in here. Daybloom Blink Root. Not the seeds. I think Blink Root's in another chest. One Hunter Potion. If I don't run into him before we get the fishing quest done, I'll drink it down here and start exploring. <gasps> okay. I don't know where my grappling hook went there. I, I honestly don't know. I don't actually have any stars to make these worms better. Right now. Let's put it in the piggy bank. Where's my minion? Oh, I ran out of those grenades. Alright.
33 gold. Who knows how much we actually lost. Uh, Alright, so this is where we catch our fish. Let's hurry up with that. Gone. Why can't I dash? Oh, right. Shield of Cthulhu's on the other armor set. Okay. Let's get somewhere where we're not going to get constantly flanked. Just get harassed by bats all day instead. From both sides. God damn it. There we go. Quest complete. If I can dash, there we go. Master bait, fishing potion, nothing new or particularly amazing. And let's go start looking for our goblin tinkerer. I'm surprised I don't have an umbrella or something for fall damage yet. Alright, Hunter Potion. And we just need to search deep enough and cover a bunch of ground to make it happen faster. So I may as well dig the elevator some more. You piranha, don't bother me. Hey, Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's one. No, you killed Wormy. I can never forgive you. Very dark here. That's a bee. What the hell? Why am I seeing a bee here? This is the middle of the map. On it. That's even worse, isn't it? We are in the underground jungle. Huh. That's kind of convenient, actually. <laughs> It's scary, but it's convenient overall. I don't think we ever find traps in the underground jungle. That's nice. Corrupted jungle? No, it's it's just jungle. It looks like just good old fashioned underground jungle. Can we even find the goblin here? I don't know if it's possible to get too deep to find him. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. It's actually relatively fine. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop.
our, uh, our, our minion only does one damage to these things. And they have 253 health. And another one appeared before I can get through. That's not what I want to see. Oh, whoops. Bad dodge. At least it's a small room. Uh, clear this crap. I think it poisons us. Okay. Now can we continue building the elevator? Not really. Oh good, it doesn't even get stuck in the bullets. So I can't get an angle on it. Oh, this thing. Hey, we found a use for it. Ow. 174 damage. Is that a beehive? No, that's a big tree. Big underground tree. Let's get it. I've never seen a trunk like that going into lava, I'll say that. Oh, that missed. Okay. very first magic mirror, actually. Um, sure. Now that we're swimming in recall potions. Uh, we did get the whoopee cushion. That's, n that's nice. Get this silt sorted out. I got a little bit carried away there. No, wait, I was looking for the, um, the goblin. Let's go down here again. And... I don't know how deep I have to be. Probably deeper than this rail system. Let's go to that rail system over there. And hopefully if I just move left and right on that, we'll find him before the hunter potion runs out. We've got a minute and change, I think. Heaven, so deeper underground. Okay. Blink root seeds, hell yes. It's only one seed, actually. Somehow I got two blink roots, though. Alright, away we go. Oh yeah, I forgot about this place. But I didn't explore very far here. I thought that one was him for a second. Oh! Rude. And into the ice biome we go. No thanks. I think I'd rather explore down this way. Where's our minion? I don't know how much more gold I really need, but I'll take it. At the very least, we'll have plenty of Spelunker potions. I 
May as well take the tungsten for bullets. How is my inventory already full? Because I didn't drop off the jungle stuff. In that case... Get out of here, jungle torches. Hunter potions run out already. Ooh, is that a diamond tree? No, it's a sapphire tree. That's a trap and a half. Ow! Where's the touch plate here? I don't see one. Oh! Okay, it wasn't the statue that was the trap. I did find a touch plate though. Did we find another magic mirror? No, I just didn't put it away. There we go. Why is this door busted? Probably the goblins broke it. Moon glow, gimme gimme. Ah. What? Wh huh? What? What just happened? What? Did it? Did a slime just happen to walk into an explosive bunny the nanosecond I was close to it? Also, I can't get this... What? Explosive bunny says hi? What the hell happened? I've got the guide to critic companionship. I can't actually blow them up, right? Apparently I can. Very cool game. Very, very cool. Very fair, very funny and clever. Well played. Not cheap. We are amused. This is fine. How much sand do I have? Can you imagine dying like that if this was a hardcore run? If you were doing blind hardcore for the worthy. And you just, like, even though you had the guide to critter companionship active, uh, you just, like, swung at a flower pot in the dark and exploded. Terraria is a nice game, isn't it? Indeed. That was... that was maximum, bruh. Um, where's my sand? I want to I wanna fix up my uh, storage a bit more. There we go. Make some more glass storages. On second thought, I don't actually need any more storage space in this area yet. It's over here that's the issue. Have I not found more gold chests? I guess not. It's weird not to have like 20 gold chests by now. I don't particularly want to make um, crappy looking chests. Let's go with glass, I guess. Where is... I need to step closer to the furnace, I think. There we go. 
and I need some lead. Glass chest. Let's make as many as we can. Oh, wait. Never mind. Alright, we've got all of these over here. Let's actually organize our storage a bit more. A couple of glass platforms. Another chest up here. Alright, so this right here should be potion ingredients, not whatever this is. Blink root can stay. Vicious mushroom can stay. Deathweed can stay. Ladybug. I might keep seeds as well, just for a little bit at least. Uh, occasional potions will go in the piggy bank. Flare gun, don't care, let's sell it. Watching streamers play hardcore Master Zenith is an experience. <laughs> Especially blind, indeed. I'm sure you could put together a compilation of like 20 people dying to a falling star the first time. With pretty much the same expression on their faces. Magic mirror. I need more chests to really organize things properly. Let's put all of our accessories in one place. Iron can go in with potion ingredients, platinum as well, not this, not that. Statues can go up here, I suppose. Um, I normally prefer to do some of this stuff off stream, but like, I've spent way too much time noticing my inventory is full today. The expression would be wild. It would take a dozen hours to get up in Zenith. Oh, damn. Danger sense. Over here. Black Cat, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Water walking is definitely occasional. Oh, did I ever get to the ocean over here? Not quite. Let's sell this crap. Don't really see the need for frostburn arrows at this stage. Goblin statue. Shouldn't journeyman bait be in here? Apparently. Accessory goes in here. Uh, what time is it? 10.50 a.m. Let's go make the jungle house. Throw money into the piggy bank? Where's the incentive to survive? Oh, I keep forgetting I can teleport here, but it's so... it's such a short distance. I haven't actually seen... Wait. Yes, I have. There's another desert way over there. 
would it be a better place to put it? Oh, there's a chest. Gimme, gimme. I know we emptied it earlier. Our minion is having a lot of fun off screen. <laughs> and I don't like it. Come back here. I need you. Now. OP bats. Get out of here. Alright, where are we? Getting there. The bamboo already grew back. Is that a threat? I think it's just a... just a regular old bird, actually. Moon glow seeds? I'll take. I didn't realize with the multi-hooks, you can throw out multiple at the same time if you're falling to try and catch something. That's actually super useful. Alright, this is where I want to build. Let's grab our copious bamboo and drag this out over here. And I want to use rich mahogany... for the rooms. Go away, bat. Oh my goodness. Can't freaking switch weapons. There we go. Uh, Thirteen. That should be right. We need more rich mahogany. Don't drop a bomb, thank you. That is a critter. It's not a threat. Good to know. I don't love the tendency of these uh, jungle trees to not drop seeds. Give me a seed. Oh my. Okay, fine. Don't reproduce. Don't blame me when the land is stripped of mahogany trees. Really? What was that? Five trees and no seed? A pale, pale boast starcraft. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Love your channel. It's hard to find Terraria players. Thank you. Black cat. Welcome, welcome. Also. Um, I don't think this is going to be enough if I want the background to be rich mahogany, but I don't necessarily want that. Let's get some bamboo workbench, bamboo chair. Lanterns don't look too bad either, but I'll replace those with something a bit fancier later. Bamboo door. And 
how does bamboo wall look? It's green. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. Or maybe I should use it for the midsection. But with my currently available materials, it makes sense to use bamboo. The dryad has arrived. Here she is. Fantastic. Alright, make a couple more of these. Favorite game, indeed. Understandable. What time is it? 5.30? I can't get her to teleport up here, but it looks like she's going to be okay. Oh yeah, I got a banner. A Rana banner. Let's put that here. Since piranhas are going to be spawning here quite often. Um, and I usually end up with four people living here. Let's make some more rooms. Three chairs. Uh, one, two, three, four of these. And a bunch more wall. And four doors. Rip Dryad, you absolute buffoon. Why did she even go over there? Like, she left, she went off screen. Which boss have you defeated so far? Um, I think just the Eye of Cthulhu. I got one shot effectively by King Slime. Because he teleported right on my face and he's so large that I couldn't get away. So I literally just have to watch him and dash away the nanosecond before he teleports, I think. exactly sure why he has teleportation powers in the first place. Alright, let's get our bamboo up here for the reef. And I want to do some... some fences over here as well, for the look of it. It's only the jungle at night time, it's perfectly safe. Was that four tiles? Nope. Pretty sure the dryad can't spawn again until morning. We may as well stay. 
But the invisible bat. Oh my god, there's so many. Alright. Uh, so I want... Hammer. Let's put this here. Up to every time. Kind of like that. Could we make this one a platform? Like we did before. Yeah, kind of like that. And then over here we go. I might have made this a little bit taller than last time. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Seems good. Just like that. And then cut this off and hammer like so. Kind of like that. It looks pretty cozy. And that looks pretty full of zombies. It's the last of my grenades. I could use the spiky balls, but I don't really want to waste them right now. Then again, I can always just buy them later. Uh, what was I trying to... Oh yeah. One, two, three, four. Get some fences. Fantastic. I want some Chinese lanterns to complete this. I'll probably put these ones outside. But as it is, this should all be valid housing. Seems good. What time is it? 1.30 a.m. NPCs can show up here in three minutes. Do we really want to just wait around here for three minutes? Could get a few lenses and stuff. I really don't want to have to travel back here. So, kinda, yeah. It's a nice row of coins up there. Oh yeah, I was gonna put the lights on the roof. I don't suppose it's possible to see how many tiles this is. Kind of is. One, two, three, four. And I think I went further this time. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't like that. 
Let's remove this layer. Doesn't look quite so chunky. And we need some bamboo lamps. About here. That's looking better. Alright, just over a minute till the dryad can show up. But I don't think she'll necessarily show up microseconds possible. At this rate, we'll get a jungle bat banner before she does. Not a whole lot to do in the immediate vicinity. I could explore down here. Oh, wow, I did not see that coming. Just like, holy crap, what is, what is happening? If only that star could have fallen just a little further to the right. Giveth, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, now it's morning. Because that whole thing took a minute. Uh, but the Dryad's not here, so... Let's kill a little time over this way. I haven't done the Torch Guard still. Ow, ow, ow. Green slime banner, sure. Banners don't seem to have much of an effect. Hmm. Traveling merchant has arrived. Not what we're looking for right now. But I need to remember to go back once, uh, once we get the dryad. Hey, we finally have an umbrella. Feels a little bit late. Cool, so we do have a... Ow. No, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. We do have a natural jungle entrance uh, right next to our... Uh, right next to our teleport, or we will do. And we have rail to start with, that's good. Uh, I probably don't want to go into the lava though. I'm pretty sure I'm not lava proof just yet. Dryad has arrived. It's about time. Alright, up we go. Don't run into this thing. I forgot I don't have the slime mount. Could you be persuaded to stop? Oh, I nearly died. That would have been a pretty bad way to go after waiting all this time. 
Right, so finally we can get some blink root planters. Uh, I believe if I bring the zoologist over here, Dryad will be happy. It doesn't kick in already, does it? But we can get the pylon. Legend? Lava hot, indeed. Uh, I want blink root planters because they're incredibly cheap pots that double as platforms. And let's get a whole lot of those down here. This will be our moon glow farm. I don't want to find somewhere else to put the banners. Never mind. Freaking bats. The die trader has arrived. Don't tell me. Wait, where is the die trader? Probably over here? Uh, anyway, I've planted my first little bit of moon glow over this way. Let's grab that banner again, I guess. I wish I had a potion of return. Nothing else to buy from her right now, really. Acorns? So I can replant some of those trees. The trees that refused to drop acorns. Let's put another one up here. Where are, where are my acorns? Don't tell me I dropped them. Okay. has arrived. Apparently I was missing a few uh, NPC homes. Thought that was a threat. Jeez. There's something looking very similar to that from the pirates that actually does a million damage. Okay, is the Dryad happy now? No. Yes. Fantastic. Can finally teleport back with our planters. Let's put some down here. I need some platforms. That'll do, I guess. will be for water leaf. Um, I need to actually go get the seeds. Actually, full inventory. 
doesn't feel as good then. Still full. Oh, that's actually not there to pick up. Okay. And back to base. That's more like it. Butterflies. Oh, we've got the die trader now. I can actually make some use of some of these things. What did that say? Murderous? No, I think I misread it. Uh, I need an actual place for these. Also, let's grab those seeds and plant. I want to do an underground base for the Demolitionist and eventually the Tavern Keep. That'll be where we put our Blink Root. Um, normally, I would put it close to the Demon Town. But I'm getting the impression that's probably going to be jungle. I'd like to find out before I build. Alright, let's have a look. Down we go. Also, I could probably get a diamond hook by now. What's the hardest kind of tea to swallow? Reality? Is that the joke? Dang it! <laughs> Got him. I'll definitely take that spore while we're here. I have to admit, seeing spiky jungle slimes die in lava doesn't, uh, I, I definitely don't mind that. Oop, sneaky. Speaking of devil. God, those things are overpowered. Such a nuisance. At least they give stingers? Oh my... Stop. Give me two seconds of peace, please. I'm going back. I'll despawn if I... come back down the slow way. Caught in desert. Let's make that happen. No peace, only blood? Oh no. Shavareth? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm expecting a pun. I can't think of any. Can we get a quest fish? I meant about the tea, yeah. I mean, it's not wrong. Uh, let's see, quest, God damn it! just a couple of sonar potions. That's actually a ripoff. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl take a leak? Um, I'm afraid to ask. All 
All right, let's grab our umbrella again. So we don't have to worry about fall damage. Wait, let me see how much diamond we've got. And that's just breaking even. That's plus one, I think. It's... If I collect them all close enough together that it just adds them up, it's hard to tell. Oh, I forgot to visit the traveling merchant. Oh well. Okay, we've got nine gem pawns. I think we gained diamond trees. And we have six diamonds. That's not too bad. Up we go. We have 12 diamonds. The next time we harvest, we can get a diamond uh, grappling hook. The P is silent? Oh no. Stealth P. Down we go. through here before any of those damn things spawn. Oh, that could have been bad. Uh, I need to get rid of this lava. Preferably while not being shot at. Oh my god. out of here rope. What is that? It's a wheelbarrow. Okay, 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 okay. I see how it is. And there's three of them sniping me now. Lovely. I love the jungle. Very fair and cool spawn rate of enemies in that place. Uh, am I going to be able to continue... I think just barely? On the same path? Yeah. I need to get rid of that little bit of lava though. Silt, get out of here. We have a fishing quest. We do not. I still haven't had a blood moon. And there's no way to summon the blood moon unless you've had a blood moon. I really wish they'd do something about that. Two of the most important... One of the most important quality of life items. And one item that's really quite good for a while only be got through the blood moon and you just have to wait for it to randomly happen how far away is our jungle teleport it's less than halfway to the edge of the map what I could and should do as well is set up a glowing mushroom biome on top of the dungeon so we can teleport there oh and I need to do a build in the snow area 
I need a place for the goblin tinkerer and the uh, mechanic to live. I think I'd rather do it underground, though. Somewhere where we can fish. We don't have any abandoned houses, do we? That we could refurbish? Doesn't look like it. Why can't pirates learn the alphabet? Some, something something R? They get lost at sea. Oh no. That's a lot of fireflies. 20% bait isn't good, but it's not atrocious. And this is a large number of fireflies. But I would prefer just not to run out of enchanted nightcrawlers. Uh, yeah, let's put our money in here, I guess. Oh, hey, we can make two more. Nice. It was no particular decision that I put the gold in there. It's more that I saw that it wasn't quick stacking and it gave me an itch. Okay. Kind of like the itch to pick up these fireflies, but that's never going to end at this rate. Bamboo can go in here or something. What time is it? 12.37. Oh yeah, I was trying to get some mud together. Figure out where I've stashed it. Here it is. And I need some glowing mushroom seeds, which I immediately regret throwing all of them away, but it shouldn't be too hard to find just one. Shouldn't. Give me some seeds. Begging you, please. I don't know if we can get seeds from the ceiling or not, but we may as well try. actually don't have a single big area with flat ground uh, that isn't covered in water with the mushroom biome. single mushroom seed. I really wish I hadn't trashed them earlier. I literally just need one. Oh, there it is. Fantastic. What time is it? 3 a.m. I think we can probably... make our way over now. The mushroom biome is my favorite. Yeah, me too. Speaking of mushrooms, that's two regen potions right there. Okay. 
Okay, probably not going to find any more of those. Now this is the only way to travel. Riding a giant rabbit while holding an umbrella. Could you not kill my momentum? Honestly. More flat ground would be nice. Where are we going again? Oh yeah, the dungeon. So I'm just going to set up an artificial glowing mushroom biome for a couple of reasons. So that when we get the truffle later on, he'll already have a place to move in. Uh, and also so that we can teleport there. If I'm falling through the air and dash and then mount, uh, and I have to hold right as well. Yeah, it actually keeps the momentum of the dash, or most of it. It keeps it going as if I'm doing... Um, Maximum running speed, at least. Alright, so... Mushroom block? Oh, sorry. Mud block. I think I'll do them down here. Fill this out. Hey, there's that chest I forgot about. Once we can teleport here and back, we'll grab all the stuff in there. I want to deviate a little bit from my usual build here. Try to make something a bit more, more of a chubby mushroom. So it has sort of better dimensions. Uh, please don't tell me I quick stacked all the mushrooms I was carrying. I think I did. I think if you have something like a mount that has a fixed speed, it'll keep your dash for a long time. Indeed. Well, I could either... Tr uh, I could either teleport back to grab the mushrooms and come back again, or I could wait for this to grow, find something to do while that happens. We could explore down this way. Verulicious, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's see what we find down this way. We still need to find the Goblin Tinkerer, so... As long as we're exploring sufficiently deep underground, we're really not wasting our time. My hair looks kind of like a crown, kind of. Let's do our last shine potion. What are the rules for this run? Uh, just that I'm not building boss fight arenas. That's basically it. 
that's obviously a little subjective. Like some people might say, if I build a campfire, I've built some form of an arena. I would probably argue if you're slapping down like campfire, heart, lantern, and, like one or two other things, it's not really an arena. But what we're definitely not doing is, you know, spending five or ten minutes building platforms across the sky and two tiles of honey every X tiles so that we sprint through it and barely lose any speed and gain a, a regen buff and bringing the dryad over every time we fight a boss and so on. You look like a Final Fantasy villain? Uh, thank you. I think. I thought I heard a touch plate. Maybe something else hit a touch plate. I'm not sure we're deep enough to find the goblin here. Music sounds like we're deep enough. It says underground. I think we can find him underground. I could be wrong. I see glowing though. Glowing blue. Oh, it's just the dungeon. It's a water candle. And hello dungeon. I guess it couldn't hurt to explore where the edges of it are. Startled me a little bit. I think if we're deep enough for glowing moss, we're definitely deep enough to find the goblin tinkerer. Oh, I can't wait to get spectre boots. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Hurry up. Sure, why not? Yeah, not building an actual arena cube, exactly. Traveling merch, probably gonna miss it. How much mushroom has grown here? Ooh, four tiles already. Maybe five. We don't need much glowing mushroom to grow there. To give us the building materials for a house or two. Shield of Cthulhu for the win. That's a trap. That's another trap. Danger Sense Potion OP when you can get it. Let's get that water to turn into obsidian. There we go. When I didn't pick something up, I thought there must be a bomb there for a sec. Another trap. My inventory's full again. Let's just drop the banner. This is... kind of weird. I don't want to leave silt behind. It's actually kind of good. Uh, we don't need more daybloom seeds, though. At this rate, I'll have to turn back because my inventory's full. Don't 
care about the active stone blocks though. Oh, what? So I think what happened here is MapGen created lava and water. Gravity happened and there was obsidian. And then after that, it adds traps. And that's why there's two tiles missing vertically through this obsidian. Nice and close to this uh, touch plate. And that was meant to drop a boulder. Seems a little... a little sus. No. Still not finding any goblin tinkerers though. Whoa, what was that? I didn't notice the lava and I heard an explosion and I took damage. I guess I'll keep looking. Where are we going? Link root seeds, I kind of want them. Don't need day bloom. There we go. What's this? A bug statue? We can find the goblin tinkerer, right? I'm not missing some detail, I hope. I am. That's a dart trap up there. That's a little weird. It's a dart trap facing into gold. There's also a chest statue that I want to pick up. snail. Alright, can I pick this thing up? Yes, yes I can. And let's investigate this weird trap. Wait, how many... one, two, three, four, five, six ropes can come out of the uh, spider... the cobweb ropes? That's kind of cool. So now we've liberated this dart trap, it has an opportunity to meet its raison d'etre. And it missed. Too bad. Take that heart, actually I can't really fit it. Uh, what do I want from the marble biome? 
the pocket mirror. I can drop uh, drop the pressure plate. Can free up some space like this. Let's dig through here. I've run out of shine potion though. Not a fan. I'm also not a fan of how many uh, hoplites are directly below me here. We'll come back to this. For now, let's head upstairs. I can squeeze through here. Finally, the blood moon is rising. Never mind, let's go get some... Shark tooth necklace and money trough. Wait, that's the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is the blood moon. Here's the enemies we're looking for blood zombies. Now I want those spiky balls that I threw away somewhere. I think I sold them. Some night vision would be good. I don't have time to get the potion together though. Oh my god. Dash timing. Oh, come on! I got bounced around like a pinball. I really don't need the game to rub it in my face with a long respawn time either. Can we get some Daybloom plus Glowing Mushroom plus this? I think that's all it takes. So I can actually see what I'm doing. That's a lot of enemies. Could you not drop on my head? And it's happening again. Okay, health. Need regen as well. Shine pot. I wish I'd organized my stuff over here before. How did that hit me? I was in the middle of a dash. Okay, I need some... need all of these. I've already got them. Daybloom... Blink root is in another chest, god damn it. Bye, please, thank you. Where's my iron? And blink root, okay. Iron skin, regen. Uh, shine pots, night owl. Could you be persuaded to not distract me every two seconds? Thank you. All right, regen, iron skin, bonds, sure, why not? And that'll do. We got a bloody tear already. That's good. So if we get unlucky with the rest of the drops, we can at least try again. I've only been waiting 600 days for an opportunity to get uh, a shark tooth necklace and the money trough. Do I have any grins? Apparently not. I do have a few bunnies. I don't trust 
they don't they're not going to move in a way that's convenient for me though are they do i need to like over, over here yeah that only killed one of them okay how the hell what um I think I just invented a new movement tech. I don't know how useful it could be. But apparently if you drop an explosive bunny, it probably doesn't need to be an explosive bunny. Um, <laughs> but I, I think what happened is I dropped the critter and dashed. And I dashed quickly enough that I actually hit the critter with the shield of Cthulhu. Um, which for some reason, even though it was an explosion, protected me from the damage, so I didn't die in one hit. So I guess it's a weird way to get a little double jump that goes sideward a bit. I can't imagine you could actually make, uh, find a use for it. Let me out. I really need some grenades. How about pierce through everything? That's pretty good during the blood moon. But yeah, DPS is sorely lacking. How did I... I honestly don't understand how I got hit there. Again. Dash into a bunch of them. It went through the first one for some reason. Therefore didn't rebound off of it. Maybe it died the moment that the sword hit it? I thought it had more health than that, though. The bride is here. I never realized just how well boomerangs go with a rapid fire gun. Wow. It's like the only weapon in the game that you can quickly switch and fire something else. You don't have to wait for your weapon to stop sticking out. Hey, we got the shop, uh, shark tooth necklace. Very good. Why do I have two different stacks of link root, I'll never know. What should I put instead? Where should I squeeze in the shark tooth necklace? This is a pressing question. Here we go. Much more DPS with the mini shark. So now we're just looking for the money trough. Actually, a second shark tooth necklace can be good too, because... If we upgrade it with the drop from the Queen Bee, uh, it actually stacks with the separate version of itself. Plus mini shark, very, very good combo. Looks like the night's about finished. We've got 10 seconds actually. Well, we've still got a couple of chances to get our drop. And 
we got a zombie banner. That kind of tricked me. Ow. But yeah, uh, shark tooth necklace actually a pretty good drop. Pretty good get for now. And the obvious thing to swap out is the regen. Basically, try not to need it. Okay, let's take our... Has that glowing mushroom moved yet? It's like halfway done. I think we probably need more glowing mushroom, though. For it to count as a separate biome. But I'll take some glowing mushrooms over for building. Stack all that away. How many diamonds do we have? 13. Uh, there's like a 90-something percent chance that we're going to get enough diamonds now to upgrade our hook. As much as I'm pleasantly surprised at just how good the web slinger is. Normally by the time I have it, it's irrelevant. Slime is falling from the sky. Don't care. I don't want to fight King Slime with this gear. Not a King Slime that takes up half the screen. Alright, let's park our uh, gem corns over here. The angler has arrived again. Here we go. Oh, wow, we got 13 diamonds out of that. That'll do. We literally doubled our diamonds. Alright, diamond hook. Let's compare. It's only a single hook, but... Should probably compare it somewhere other than the surface. Let me get pinky, though, before we, uh... Before we leave the slimes alone. I should probably just tank the hits to get this done faster. Apparently I can't shield charge it. There we go. Alright, let's head down here. We've got the diamond hook and versus the web slinger. From here... Uh, it reaches this tree, basically. Not sure if it would touch it if it was a block. Diamond hook. Wait, which tree was it? This one with the gap underneath it. Diamond hook is three, is three more tiles. And I think it's faster as well. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's faster. Okay, is it going to be possible to travel while slime is falling from the sky? Who knows? Uh, but let's get our... what's our fishing quest? Port in surface bunny fish. I guess we could... Try it on a different day when it's not raining slime from the sky. Uh, where's our glowing mushrooms? In here. Got a whole bunch of crap I need to stash away that I can't be bothered with right now. That'll do for now. Apparently I don't have room for this. There we go. Uh, 
I just quick stacked the mushrooms again, didn't I? Mushrooms, favorite, mud. Uh, where is the mud? I've got the mud favorited already. Alright, let's see if we can't ignore King Slime. Those two sell for a little bit. Yeah, without actually measuring it, I'm pretty damn sure the hook, uh, the diamond hook is significantly faster. Oh, that range. Oh, yes, please. It's far more often that I just want to use one hook. And the range of range and speed of it is more important than the multi hook. Yeah, it's actually pretty easy to avoid the slimes if you're traveling. In fact, they're much easier to deal with this way. If I find the right spot, I could probably do the fishing. Let's worry about that a little bit later. And we're at the dungeon. Fantastic. Up we go. Hmm. It didn't actually occur to me I'm going to be stuck fighting the slimes here. I honestly want a grav potion to deal with king slime. That's how nasty that teleport was. Uh, turn off Turn off the flanks, I don't want to fight them. Uh, let's go try fishing at the ocean, I want to test something. Since we have a surface fishing quest anyway. Something I'm surprised I haven't tested yet is, can I do fishing by floating with this thing? I think the answer is probably no. Oh, I forgot slimes can float. Go away. Alright, fishing pole. Up we go. That didn't work even a little bit. I doubt king slime is going to be stuck on the surface in a way that's helpful. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I actually can't get away from them. This is even worse than I imagined. If I... Ow, ow. If I had a uh, Shield of Cthulhu and the Inner Tube, Probably dash at the last second. Yeah. 
Yeah, but we're not getting launched consistently. There we go. That's what I wanted. But trying fishing with the inner tube. It, it works with water walking. Uh, whether it's a potion or boots that you can fish from the surface of the ocean. But I suspect the inner tube doesn't let us fish from on top of the ocean. I think we've hit peak slime here, though. Um, I think I think no more slimes are going to... No, I saw another one. I, I think there may be... Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. I think there may be a limit... So, what if we just build a wall here as yet another slime comes down? Lovely. Uh, I can attempt fishing from here, but a slime could always just land on my head. I guess a grappling hook will fix that. I haven't gotten any ocean crates yet. Anyway, we might get some water walking boots. Does it not count as surface if we're fishing at the ocean? We got a reaver shark. 59% pickaxe power. That's, uh... That's actually supposedly better than the bone pickaxe. On paper. But I'm pretty sure the bone pickaxe is actually better. I'll give him a try. Getting nothing but duds so far. Unless you count the Reaver Shark, which maybe. Slime does eventually stop falling from the sky. It takes a while though, I think. Like maybe all day. Another Reaver Shark? Well, at least we'll get some money, I guess. Not that money's much of an issue at the moment. I guess if I want to put off King Slime, um, the only boss that makes any sense to go after next is Reign of Cthulhu. Now that we've got the Shark Tooth Necklace, we've got much better DPS against it. Mini Shark is perfect for stopping the little... Uh, in the last phase, preventing it from getting close to you. Although I'm a little scared of what changes for the worthy are going to make to it. The blood moon is rising again. Uh, but slime is also falling from the sky. Oh no. Oh no. I for Oh no. I forgot. 
don't fish in the blood moon if you don't want to fight things like that. Um, let's let's board this up. It doesn't look like slime is. Oh, yep, nope. Slime is still falling from the sky. I mean, the event is still happening, but more importantly, they are still spawning. So I don't want to fight anything right now. Because I'm not about fighting uh, all the worthy King Slime unprepared. While it's dark and a blood moon. Let's test our pickaxes. It's pretty fast. Reaver Shark. The reaver, the reaver shark may on paper look stronger as a pickaxe, but this thing swings a lot faster. Slime has stopped falling from the sky. Fantastic. That's what I wanted to hear. Now let's take advantage of the blood moon. Figures it that we get two of them back to back after nothing for so long. Uh, let's grab some grenades. Quite a lot of grenades. We've got half a plat. Let's get even more grenades. That was more than I meant to buy. Oh well. Let's get a minion out as well. Rip NPCs. It, the best thing I can do for them is get them off screen. There we go. Guide was slain? I thought I got uh, to a safe distance. Rip guide. Let's get some light. Some defenses. Could you could you stop comboing me while I'm trying to Okay, there we go. So was that a good example of that bad knockback mechanic? If I boomerang an eye, it gets knocked back quite hard. If I follow it up with a bullet, it immediately stops moving. But it doesn't seem to work on zombies. Pretty awkward with the input buttons that I've got to try and keep doing a quick boomerang, but it's quite effective. Even if you miss, you often hit on the way back as well. So the fact that you're having trouble aiming it because you're trying to quickly do a combo, not as big of an issue as it might otherwise be. It is not? Not really. special drops yet.
pretty sure this is like the only... I mean, there's several boomerangs, of course, but... Uh... As far as I know, this is the only type of weapon in the game where you can get a high-impact attack that doesn't leave you unable to switch weapon until you'd be able to do it again. just get hard shackle I think it was of bloody tear the boomerang simply has high knockback where the mini shark has low damage meaning it's not it's likely not reaching the damage threshold for bad knockback mechanics low knockback and high rate of fire I thought it was if you can only scratch them you get minuscule knockback. And therefore that just completely resets the target's velocity. So it's the bullets I'm referring to, because they barely scratch them. Weirdly enough, they make them sit still. It's the opposite? Yeah, even throwing grenades. If I throw a grenade and then switch to the mini shark, it takes a surprisingly long time to be able to start firing. But if I toss a uh, toss a boomerang, I can switch immediately. Well, not immediately, but much, 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 much more quickly than other weapons. Absolutely swimming in bloody tears, but all I'm really after is a money trough. Disaster dominoes. Okay. We can finally go back and actually build our mushroom teleporter thing. Oh, hey, look at this. Didn't see it drop. Let's go. We also got a top hat. And a blood zombie banner, but I don't particularly care about that. Knockback is more effective at low damage, though if the enemy is moving away, you can make them slow down. Yeah, and with the uh, with the mini shark, it's actually preferable that they get stuck like that. Okay. Do we still have this quest? It's a new quest. Caught in jungle. Uh, I was gonna say I don't wanna. Then I rem then I remembered I can just do this. Won't take long at all, and it's done.
any percent fishing quest. Okay. Probably sell these. A zombie arm's not a material, right? That'd be kind of weird. We finally have our money trough. Very, very nice. Uh, pink jellyfish is for selling. Don't care about the bamboo lanterns. Oh yeah, I wanted to check what it takes. I forgot the guide is dead. Uh, check what it takes to make a lantern. How do I make a loom? I think it's literally just wood, right? Except I need a uh, sawmill, perhaps? Maybe some more iron. Guide has arrived. I don't know where all of our lead is. That's iron. Oh, here it is. All right. Lead bars. Put this in here. And we need a sawmill, I believe. Oh, I quick stacked the chains. Wood, iron, and chain. And then I killed the blink root here, whoops. And then we can make a loom. It's literally just 12 wood. Huh, okay. Cogwebs. Uh, silk. Guide. As an example of the difference, let's say you have an enemy moving quickly at you. If you hit them with a low damage attack, they'll now instantly be moving away from you. They're likely at low speed, but if you hit them with a high damage attack, they'll still be coming straight at you, but slower. That's pretty dumb. Why don't they just apply, like... Okay, I don't care if they have a sep if I ha if they have an arbitrary knockback mechanic as well. But for example, something like the old quake or whatever, you'd just get pushed back proportional to the damage you take from the damage source. Like, why not something like this? And do the basic math of Wow, it's literally just torch and silk. That was easier than I thought it would be. Alright. Chinese lantern. So it's going to look nice in here. I was going to put them right in the corners, but that misclick is persuading me to consider other options. No, I think I do like them better in the corners. It wasn't exactly a misclick, it's that the lantern is placed further to the left than I would think. That looks nice, I think. Uh, and let's get our fishies in here. Silk should probably go... I'm not sure, actually. Just put it here for now. And I guess I have to travel way over here again. Well, let's do it. If they wanted to make a good game, they should just do the first thing for all hit instead of only hits that do less than one-fifteenth of the enemy's max health. Yeah, it's... 
It's weirdly arbitrary, I have to say. Did they... Hmm. Did they want to avoid a dominant strategy of just high-impact weapons or something? But they've already got, like, damage and knockback as separate stats. So I don't see why... Like, you could... you can arbitrarily... Let's pretend there's no bad knockback mechanic. With a damage stat, a rate of fire stat, and a knockback stat. You could have any arbitrary combination of DPS and knockback on a weapon. You could have a weapon that hits hard and does no knockback at all. You could have it proportional. You could... If you want it to be really weird, you could have some negative knockback on some weapons. Have it like a downside as opposed to a get over here. Yeah, I don't... I can't think of a single reason why... Why you would want it to work that way. So basically, if you're underpowered, maybe they want you to have more knockback so you don't get overwhelmed. I don't like arbitrary... Like, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not hand-holding, but it's like... It, it, it's an anti-frustration feature, if that's the intent. So when you go into an area where you're too weak, you can at least do a little better at keeping the enemies from hitting you compared to if you had good weapons. I guess might have been the intent. And only speculate. This isn't enough glowing mushroom to change the biome. I could try uh, putting seeds down here as well. But that would take a lot of glowing mushroom seed. Alternatively, we could put more glowing mushroom up here, which is usually enough. This is the part of why Blade of Grass is so much better than most other melee weapons pre-hard mode, because of the little leaf projectiles that do one damage. Oh, that's... F that's tragically funny. I like how we can't dig these, uh, uh, we can't dig these dungeon blocks no matter how hard we try, but we can reshape them a little bit by putting mud next to them or hitting them with a hammer. Oh, I got random mushroom grass seeds already. Huh. I guess this is faster. I was going to temporarily have the mud roll all the way up here. And then for housing, what I usually do with the mushroom biome is build like a mushroom trunk up like this and build a house up here. And it definitely look, looks a lot taller than it does wide. I want to try and do something a little bit different this time. And I think I don't want to build a house up here because it'll, like, block me sometimes. A couple over here should be fine. Especially if I could give them one shed long roof. Could I make it look like one big thick mushroom? Kind of. I think that's worth a try. Oh, hello. I should think of it less as 
boomerang quick boomerang while using mini shark and I should think of it more as use the boomerang as much as possible and squeeze in the mini shark And then about three tiles up each time. If I continue that the whole way, would it still look kind of like a mushroom? Probably not. We definitely want a flat part in the middle. Uh, I also don't actually want it to go higher than this, so maybe this is it. couple of mushroom doors here. Hmm, I feel like we could probably tweak the shape of it around here a little bit probably, but uh, the basic idea is there at least. I could technically do one room up above and one below. I don't remember if the NPCs will appreciate that or not. There we go. And we got more mushroom grass seeds. This will spread regardless. I want to add more glowing mushroom. Uh, we need some wall. There we go. Obvious choice. It's a little wonky. Pretty easy to spot if you actually look at it, isn't it? So that is actually one, two, three, four tiles. Remind that yourself better. that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. Majagus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good midday to you. Um, it's actually about 11pm here, but I'll take it. Yeah, I kind of like where this one's going, um, but I probably want the edges of this to be a bit more like curved or something. Maybe I'll ask my artist friend how I should tweak it. But the basic idea is there. Let's get a mushroom chair. This should be valid. Yes it is. Will it be valid if have some up here. I think those are two separate rooms, yeah. Uh, let's bring, say, the painter over here and, I don't know, the dye trader for now. Looks like, looks good. It's nighttime right now, so if we go off screen, they should teleport in. There we go. To be fair, mushrooms are a bit wonky in general. This is true. Now, can we get... Oh, wait, we already have it. I should have brought it over. I can't buy it from them, but I actually did already buy 
uh, the glowing mushroom, uh, the mushroom island. Probably should have made sure that we've got a middle tile here, but I did start from two, two tiles off the edge of this regardless. We've got an even number. It's going to have to be slightly, slightly off to the side. I'll probably put it like here or here. Um, but yeah. That'll be it for today, I think. Going to do a bunch of fishing, farming, etc. Building nicer houses. Fleshing out our main base more so I can store everything properly. Maybe dig the elevator down and see if the jungle goes all the way to the demon town. And make a decision about where to put it looks like it is going to this you know this is very much deep underground jungle and an area right here um i might have to rethink where i'm gonna put the demolitionist and friend because i usually like to use them to basically teleport to the demon town with one extra step but I guess probably around here would be the best I could do. I guess it's not that bad. Definitely won't be fighting any bosses off stream. That has to happen for posterity. Uh, I might go to the ocean and see if we have one of those underground... Uh, underwater tunnels that lead to uh, water walking boots. But uh, yeah, basically nothing too exciting off stream. But for now, let's see who is playing Terraria. Um, we got a few people. Mage only master mode. That sounds a good hard mode question mark. So they've already got past the hardest part, I would say. Let me just check that we can chat there and stuff. That is an issue sometimes. Seems good. Right, we'll give this one a try today. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're into that. Factorio, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. All right, let's go. Corruption or Crimson? Both. Well, I started Corruption, but I do have a Crimson World. Already. Oh my goodness!